Hello viewers, if you've read the title of this video, you'd probably know that we're going to be talking about some stuff that we probably cannot show on YouTube. So if you want to watch this actual podcast where we discuss adult topics with the source material on screen, uh, you can do that by going over to Patreon where this episode will have all of that included in it as well as another bonus video because for our Patreons only, we went through some of your three by threes of your favorite cultured titles that uh, you can see on our Patreon, patreon.com slash trash taste. And for those of you who support us over on the Patreon, Patreon. Every single week we bring out Patreon exclusive videos, mm -hmm. all of which you can check out by supporting us over at patreon.com slash trash taste. So go and do it right now. All right, you boys ready? Uh, yeah, I mean, <sighs> as ready as you can be for something like this. This was, this was the most gross one list I've ever had to experience this, in this my had, life. This was, a, this was a mistake. I, to like, ask. we haven't even started recording and I'm already tired. <laughs> yeah, you know? right? Like, it actually took it out of me. <sighs> All right. Hello and welcome to another cultured episode of Trash Taste. I'm your host for today, Gant, and joining me once again are the boys. <laughs> and we have an oh. extra special episode for you guys, not for us, specifically for you guys, because yes. this is culture episode number, which, how many cultured episodes have we done now? This is the fourth one we've done mm, now. This is the fourth one. Yeah, the four too many, I dare say. <laughs> <laughs> we did yeah. three, I thought we only did two. No, we did three. We did three. I'm pretty yeah. sure we did three. Oh yeah, we did. We did. So yeah, I remember the yeah. Time. Okay, yeah. We did the yeah, first yeah, yeah. one, the, the second Dojin. one, the yeah, 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 one, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. the, our recommendation. See, see, the, the way we remember it, it's once we record it, we we blank it out of our minds yeah, yeah. because uh, we, we don't want to. We don't want to remember so that shit. You gave me a list of stuff to watch, and I yeah. actually don't know where did this list come from. Okay, so what's happened is we thought we've done a lot of videos where we recommend each other titles. Mm -hmm. mm. How would it go if we asked our audience to recommend us some oh. Schmenti titles uh, and see- All of them are awful. <laughs> oh, actually one of them is no, good. Well, not, not all of them are awful. So what we did is uh, we asked you over on our Patreon to recommend us some titles that you wanted us to watch. And uh, we picked nine. We picked nine titles yeah. where we'd watch. Sometimes we would watch like the first episode. Sometimes there was a specific episode mm. midway through the series that they wanted us to watch. Mm. Uh, and we'd give our thoughts. Now, this was a mix. Our producers picked us a mix between some of the most popular recommendations and some wildcard recommendations that uh, they found from some basic uh, Googling. And by wildcard, yeah. I mean some of the most traumatic stuff yeah, I've bro, seen like in a some long of this time. Shit was, I don't even know how this is allowed. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's probably uh, not. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I, I'm continually impressed with the degeneracy on display. I'm not. I, I, uh, I, this, uh, what is the opposite of impressed? Uh, I mean, I'm stunned. Depressed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I am depressed. Like, uh, I mean, like, like, yeah, I mean, yeah. what do you say about it? I mean, we'll get into it. Yeah. Obviously we'll, we'll talk about it more. But yeah. the one thing I did take away from this is that the more I watch older older uh, material of this kind, the more I'm like, God damn, why is the animation so good 10 years ago? That's what I'm saying. Everything, That's what I'm saying. Everything is like better than animation today. Are you, I'm glad we're starting off with this take because I like the fact that there are a few golden oldies in here. All Not the old ones have such good animation. They have, yeah. but they're also the most depraved one yeah. as well. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. realizing now there is like, a, uh, like the more fucked up and the more concerning your show is, the mm. higher the budget. <laughs> yeah. The more we can just, or perhaps more dedicated the animators are for whatever reason. Yeah. Um, I, all I know is that I have seen things today that I wish I can unsee. Yep. And we'll talk about it now. So let's start yeah. with the first one. Yeah. But we're, we're going to start off with uh, the, by far the most, most popular recommendation. Yes. This is like the number one. Uh, which is, what was the name of, of this one? This one is called Imaizumin Chi wa dou yara gyaru no tamari ba ni natte ru rashi. Yeah. Well, okay, what, that, that, that is, is that is title. Could you give us a rough translation? Uh, here, it basically means it seems like Imaizumi's place has become a gathering place for a bunch of gyarus. <laughs> <laughs> which is- Which should have been me, yeah. not him. <laughs> Damn you, Imaizumi. <laughs> this is where we have a long title and I'm like, I'll allow it. <laughs> yeah. I'll allow it, man. Oh, I'll allow it. This it speaks one. for itself. Sure. And uh, I mean, this one, Hood classic. Oh, my of God. course. Amazing. I, yeah. I, you know, this was the most popular one. I believe this is like the most popular uh, material yeah. of 2023. Yeah. I'm trying to not use the word See? for at least 15 minutes so that we can get monetized on this yeah. video. See, I saw this title as like by far the top 
requested on the top recommended from yeah. all of our audience on Patreon. And I was like, oh, thank God they've yeah, gone easy on us. Oh, good taste. They have some good taste. Uh, I've, I already watched all four episodes before <laughs> yeah. this was even recommended. Yeah. I, I'm, a, I'm a big follower of this series. <laughs> You're yeah. a big, I'm a big follower. I'm, I'm somewhat big, of a fan myself. I'm somewhat of a fan, you know? Yeah. I mean, well, is, you know. You know what's also amazing as well with this show is that uh, I'd never watched the actual like animated version before, but I oh. have read the original Dojin. Yeah. And the Dojin is also colored. Oh, the wow. The whole okay. way through. Oh, wow. yeah. Exactly right. the same, which is very rare and also always good. And uh, yeah, the Dojin yeah. is amazing. So, so the anime ad adaptation live up to the <laughs> yeah. original? The adaptation, <laughs> I reckon, just as good, if not better. Yeah, it's so good. It's I mean, so yeah. well animated. The animation goes hard. Yeah. All the yeah. scenes go hard. The girls are hot. Um, well, what do, do, you, do you want to explain the plot line for anyone who might not <laughs> understand what the plot line is? Essentially, there is uh, a, this like, Beta male named Ima. He's a beta male. Bro, he's a chat. Bro, he's got the stamina. Okay. Goes, this, this, is, this is the. Let, this, me, okay, this. let me rephrase that. There is a herbivore main character <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, called Ima Izumi, as the name suggests. And I guess upon some circumstance, which I think is explained in the dojin, uh, but not in the anime, mm -hmm. uh, where he gets three gals or gyarus uh, <laughs> who are like very interested in him uh, <laughs> for who knows what reason. I think, really I, know. Know. I, think I think if I remember the dojin, it originally starts off that like, he was actually getting bullied by these girls. <laughs> And I mean, yeah. Uh, so he was getting bullied by these girls, yeah, right? Yeah, and yeah. then, as a as a next form of harassment, <laughs> oh, boy. oh, yeah. oh they, no, they oh, go no. to they go to his house and just like start becoming like nuisances to him by like you know like just waltzing in, basically making his apartment their own apartment. Oh, no, yeah, don't do that in and my then apartment. I don't know, I don't remember exactly how it evolves into like bullying, and then it just suddenly goes to like, hey. You lost the game to us. Yeah. We're gonna punish you. <laughs> and but those punishments are like any guy can agree is like a heavenly situation. So so this is basically just the uh the way I see this is the X-rated version of a hundred girlfriends, basically. Essentially. It's it's essentially I I the protagonist gives off the same kind of like energy yeah. where he's just like, on the outside, he may seem like a beta. Actually, he's a secret giga he he is a secret giga chat yeah. to uh handle all these girls. Well, and yeah, this all is the just girls are great too. Yeah, this is all just the girls are hot. this is just someone taking like the best of hits of just like let's just take all of the tags that everyone unanimously loves, like <laughs> Garu's bullying, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> which is which is the you know this kind of bullying. There's some Harem. dumb loss in here as well. Dumb well, as well. So like, uh, you know, let's just because this is going to get worse later. The bullying. This is the kind of bullying I like. Yeah, the other yeah. kind of bullying that yeah. we get to see later on. I do not. Yeah. Not a fan. Yeah. Of. <laughs> not yeah. A this is as far <laughs> as I'll go. Uh, the only the only note I have for this that's written down is uh, that this is done by a studio called T-Rex Studios. Oh, wow. Who, no, 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 it's Bunny Walker, right? Is it? Walker. I swear Bunny it's Bunny Walker. I saw it was T-Rex. Really? I thought it was Bunny Walker. Can, can, we, uh, can we double check the studio of this masterpiece? Either way, Thank you very the much. studio is amazing. They did such a good job. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, every detail that you like to see in a dojin, super aesthetic. Yeah, it's T-Rex. What the fuck is no. that? Yeah. No, the did, the, did the sites I'm on- T-Rex is the studio that did masterpiece. Yo, <laughs> that's why it goes so that's hard. That's why it goes so hard. That's why I like it so I know. much. And they did the, the Gyaru one as well, the top left oh, one there. I love that. I love the, the, the second to, to the top left. Second to the- Wait, yeah, am, 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 I just, am, I just am I just learning that T-Rex and Bunny Walker, is it Bunny Walker, the other studio? I think because- Yeah, it might be, uh, usually with these kinds the of same shows, studio? it's always, it's either like a subsidiary or like, yeah. a, a, like multiple oh. studios work on it together. Yeah. Um. So yeah, but like, this this studio has done like some of I think all of our like favorite shows. Dave, okay, out there. I, I, this this might be a hot take, but I'm not too big of a fan of Bunny Walker, mostly right. because all of their all of their stuff look exactly the same. Right, you know, it's it's kind of like but God, I, mean, I would it, argue why f try and fix it when it's not even broken. Yeah, I, you know, if it's as good as this. Hey, make it all the same. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I wish we got all the same. Okay, I have two problems, right? Because some of the OG studios, right? The OG studios, they, when they release episodes, it's like a half hour episode. Yeah. So you have time to really build up the plots and really build up the context of everything mm. that's happening. With Bunny Walker, the sex scenes are like top tier, but like there's like, there's like minimal time. Most of the time, sometimes yeah. they release like 15 minute episodes. I think this at, is a 15 minute episode. Yeah, at most right? is like a 20 minute episode. Mm. I'm like, ah, oh, this this ain't enough. I, I need like, more of this I stuff. I they've pretty much done all of my favorites. 
yeah. Pablo? Studio. Most of these are like my favorite yeah, ones. Right? Yeah, right? That's what I'm what saying. The like they do really, really good ones. Also, yeah, but I do agree. Like, you know, I think this is the kind of show where like 30 minute episodes would have been better because again, as I mentioned earlier, Compared to the Dojin, they've mm -hmm. cut out like a lot of the build up to get uh, to that point, yeah. which I think would have made more sense. Yeah. But with this one, man, they did not like, they just went straight to the point. It's like two minutes in, it's like, oh yeah, we're going to punish you. It's like, yeah. Jesus Christ, ease me into this. <laughs> Bloody hell. Please, please. I actually want to watch it for the plot. Yeah. Please, I mean, what, I, what is the plot I mean, of this? I, just I think, need to know how it came yeah. to this yeah. situation. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. You know, I think that's that's part of the, the, the enjoyment sometimes is being like, hey, I mean, I listen, I, this ain't going to happen to me, but I would like a semi-believable <laughs> yeah. like reason. <laughs> also, I, one thing I've realized that, that uh, these, these kind of shows do is that, <laughs> when the guy has pretty much no reason that he he should be getting like three girls, yeah, mm -hmm. the the go to excuse is, ah, uh, yeah, his PP is just godlike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just like yeah. it's so godlike that no person can stay away. Like yeah. the dude, it's like there is no redeemable qualities of this character. Yeah, There's yeah. nothing going for him. And they're yeah. like, how do we make this believable? Oh, he must have a great PP. Yeah, <laughs> which maybe like so, maybe that works on dudes. And they feel like, wait, that could be me. Maybe yeah. I have a great PP. <laughs> He's just like me for real. <laughs> um, you know, in this show in particular, the first three episodes are bangers. Yeah. And then out of nowhere, the fourth comes in like a like a, a, a truck and just delivers the pinnacle of really? the series. Yeah, did you watch the fourth episode? No, I, ha I haven't seen I've the fourth only, one I've yet, Again, no. I've only seen the first oh, episode. Oh, the fourth episode is the banger because- What happens in the fourth? Uh, basically, an Onesan comes in. She's oh like, yeah, that one, the long She's like, one. yo, so I heard, I heard you're, you're packing. <laughs> <laughs> and, let me uh, get in on that. Let wrote, me get I in on that. I wrote some notes using a scroll because it was only fitting. Yeah, I prepared a scroll. <laughs> Why have you been wrong? Only the most cultured way scroll. of writing down a record. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I want to write my We, we are making real culture here. For the last episode in Did particular. Did you prepare this just for this episode? Yeah, I, I spent were you, $30 were you, on this. <laughs> I mean, I, I, how, long, how long ago did you plan ahead for this one? A banger. These <laughs> are my notes on this episode. <laughs> You could, bro, I you could couldn't even fit it. You got to bang. And then that was like, this oh, is shit. like band. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is $15 just to do this bit. <laughs> I got another bit coming on. But this, these are my notes because the episode just really, this one, this is a, such a, bro, and I swear to God, they were like, all right, the weights come off. And the animation in this particular episode goes mm -hmm. even harder. Yeah. You, if you are a fan of this show and you like One Sans, episode four is a masterpiece. Is on, on par with masterpiece. <laughs> Genuinely on par with masterpiece. An it's actual so good. masterpiece. Yeah, I it's think so good. I think even for Bunny Walker, the reason I really, really like this one is that I still think this one they went above and beyond even their oh, yeah. usual works. Oh, yeah. Banger, uh, it's a, a banger. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, like one thing that's interesting about this, and uh, one one of the reasons I was excited about uh, this being on the top recommendation is this has a very unique story to it and a very unique case to it, it does, because it does it? yeah, yeah. Did you know there is a safe for work? version what? of this. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is so, it like two minutes long? No, 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 no. <laughs> so in the they in the original Dojin, yeah. right? So there's the NSFW Dojin where yeah. you basically get to see the storyline of all this, but to uh to go in compl uh, to to go complimentary to that, the artist also made a slice of life manga <laughs> featuring what they do outside of, you that's know, so that's funny. outside actually, of everything depicted here. And that's actually awesome. Honest to God, it is some of the most wholesome shit you've <laughs> ever seen in your life. Like it's like you're asking, oh, I don't know what the reason why all the girls yeah. love him. And I don't know what the context is for why all the girls like liked him originally. Maybe it was like the bullying thing, mm. but you get to see like, you get to see off screen how their relationship develops and how he- Oh yeah, that one right there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, how yeah. he helps them through what different different uh, problems that are going on in their lives, and I'm saying that's this this made this like this manga to me jumped it from like a really really good show to like god tier now. <laughs> it, it is it is absolutely it's a god, god tier. tier because now you have such a good wholesome story. You see the characters develop, yeah. and if you want some spiciness behind the scenes, you you know what that where that is. But if you want more context on how their relationship develops throughout the series, you have this to go Actu on. Uh, that is actual five head business move yeah. by the author. Like he's he's covering all bases. Yeah. It's like you want some of the you want some of the spicy stuff? Here you go. You want some of the safe stuff? Here you go. Yeah. 
That's uh, that's so fire. Yeah, you know, because I, I, I haven't watched all of the episodes yet, but I have yeah. read like the uh, I have read the Dojins, and I was like reading this made the experience of reading the Dojins like ten times better. Hell yeah, because it's like watching it's like watching an anime, and you're like, mm. but what if there was like official Dojin of this? The free run <laughs> fan base are like, wait, wait, <laughs> wait, wait, but what if? But what if <laughs> free run authors like? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this uh, this genuinely. You know, you know, sometimes you see like Dojin artists that genuinely have like really good storytelling skills that yeah. have transferred over to making like real published manga. I yeah. think this is one of the authors that definitely has that potential. Uh, this alone as a manga could stand as just a nice wholesome with some, you know, there is like, yeah. there is like boob shots in this, but nothing overly Well, well none of she did that, right? The creator of Nagatoro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they originally started off as a Dojin artist. Yeah, and did so some, did like, the really raunchy stuff. So did the Dojin artists of uh, Food Wars. Yeah, that's oh, right. Yeah, Food yeah, Wars. Yeah, they, yeah, it was originally Dojin. You artist. know, checks out. Checks yeah, out. That checks out. Totally. <laughs> well, that one makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. 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 But yeah, I, I think this is the modern classic. This is like the Gen Alpha equivalent of Bible Black, in my opinion. <laughs> nah, you know, you think you don't you think so? You no, think this, so? Is the, this is the Gen no, Alpha. This is, this is above masterpiece, masterpiece no, man. Not. No, this is the this modern. Is, no, classic. You know what this is? No, and only God will get this. This is the Gen Alpha equivalent of Carnage or Carnage or Carnage. Oh yes, you're so right. Like, actually, if, you if, are so like, right. We had Carnage or Carnage or Carnage, which is like the OG like millennial like uh, Dojin. I, this I, is the equivalent. I'd of that. say millennials like Bible Black, and then Kanojo 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 was like that. That's like the, the gen the Gen Z. Yeah, the Gen the Gen Z introductory. That's yeah. like what I think of is like what age are you when you first discovered the internet? Yeah, and Bible Black was that title, and then it was like Kanojo Kanojo Kanojo. Yeah. This is gonna be it for Gen Alphas. This yeah. is this is the modern classic. Damn, gen Alpha eating yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, gen Alphas are eating good, <laughs> eating man. Good. There's gonna be some like Gen Alpha podcast in like. 15 years or something. It's like, yo, like, you remember Ima Izumi? <laughs> yeah. That was a banger, bro. Generational banger. <laughs> They're gonna be talking about Bunny Walker the same way we talk about Pink Pineapple, <laughs> man. That's I'm, I'm calling it right I, now. I, 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 are they making more episodes for this or are they done? I hope so. I, I, I hope there's definitely enough I mean, I have material. three whole episodes to enjoy, so. Yeah. yeah. Well, episode you, one through three, I feel like it doesn't change that much. Mm, it's yeah. kind of like just well, the I, same. I, one thing uh, that I was like confused about was uh, <laughs> when, when the guy was like, oh yeah, my parents made me move move out by myself because I was that much of a beta. And the girls were like, yo, let's make a sex tape and send it to your parents. Yeah. And I'm like, what are you proving here? The dad watching it being like, good job, son. Yeah, yeah, good, good job, son, I'm proud of you. Yeah, that's a, an odd justification. That's yeah. an odd thought process. Again, yeah. but that was like the punishment, right? Or whatever it is. That's yeah. a lot of weird punishment. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, I mean, you know, this is the, this is the, you know, the culture world. Well, yeah. This is like the Anything safest goes. one. This is like the safest show of the whole thing. Oh yeah, this is the yeah. most vanilla out of the nine. It, it's only gonna get worse from here. Yeah, I mean, I just, I, I like that there seems to be like a Gadu takeover in just Dojins and Gyaru. Hentai right I'm, now. I'm, I'm, I mean, I've seen I feel like so they many. Even like that Gyaru, they were just aggressive. Which I feel like no, is- No, they were pretty gutted. Uh, really, you think yeah, so? In, yeah, in their designs they were. Yeah. Maybe not as much as like- I think one of the characters I already felt was gutted. The, the other girls, one? Yeah. yeah. And the other ones I felt like they were just, they were just promiscuous. <laughs> 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 you know, which I think is like, I'm I'm also happy with that. Cause I hate, hate watching a show where they're like, oh no, I'll just wait for stuff to happen. Yeah. God damn though, those characters. <sighs> those designs. those designs are just yeah, the top tier, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, and they all have pretty good personalities that, yeah. that make me feel like yeah, if, if, if personalities, <laughs> personalities, yeah. they really draw me to that. <laughs> yeah, enticing. <laughs> I just actually, though, you know, you know, I don't know if I'm if I'm weird about this. Mm -hmm. I actually don't like it when it's like all three of them at once. I feel like yeah. Ah, you couldn't handle that. What the, the what? My only <laughs> you problem. You couldn't handle. You could. Get, you can't handle. Okay. That. My own, my You're only wrong. problem with this one, uh, personally, is I would have liked it because here's the, here's the formula, right? Normally you get like one episode dedicated to one girl, yeah. and then you get the final banger when they all come together. Yeah, sure. It's the Avengers <laughs> End Game of Harem, and then they <laughs> and then they all have a good old big yeah. session together. Yeah. I I would have preferred it if we each girl had like this single episode where we're like, okay, we're gonna focus on this particular mm, girl. Sure. Because I feel like starting it off with all three girls at once, I'm like, well, 
I can't really, I can't really pick a favorite if, uh, you know, I can't, I can't really pick a favorite. It's, if it's, it's like, you know, you go to a restaurant, they bring out the steak, and then afterwards they bring the salad out. You know, it's no, like, yeah. it's like, come on, just uh, let me, yeah. let me build up did to you it. Watch, did you watch Joshi Lucky? Did you watch yeah, yeah. Did you watch Lucky? Did you, there's like six episodes. Yeah. Did you watch them all? Yeah. No, I didn't watch all. Because like Joshi the last Lucky. like two episodes are just like gangbangs. Yeah. You're like ah, yeah. I feel like it's not cool now. Like I don't know why. I feel like <laughs> why? Because I think the 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 hype of that show is that it was like forbidden, and it was um, like mm. they all got their own episode, and that was hype. Yeah, and then suddenly it's like everyone's like, "All right, let's all do it now," and you're like, "Why?" Yeah, I mean, I, I can. Like, I've, yeah, I guess you. I guess so, but I don't know. I feel like you're able to. Yeah, I, f I feel like there are some dojins sure, that. Sure. Yeah, there, there are some that maybe go on for a bit too long. Like for me, the highlight is always whenever the individual girls get their individual episodes. And the final one, when they get the harem, that's always the least interesting one for yeah, me. Yeah, because true. it's it's kind of like, this is just like the OVA kind of shit, you know? Yeah, this is the epilogue. Yeah, this this, this is just what <laughs> just you- Just imagine, you know, there's the scene in like uh, Predator when they like fucking handshake each other. Yeah. Yeah. They, must, yeah. they, they must be doing in the studio when they yeah. finally get to the final harem. Yeah, like episode like, like oh, Onesan yeah. Gyaru. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, all right, boys, we did it. We're wrapping up the show. Come you son on. of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Yeah. You know, I imagine that's the kind of vibe. Because yeah. there are definitely some hentai where I think it goes on like for a little bit too long or it has mm. like a little bit too many episodes where you kind of get the vibe and then it loses its like charm yeah. when you like when you see the same kind of like scenes all mm. over again. Because there's only so much you can do. Um, but aside from that, this one was an absolute. Goddamn masterpiece. Yeah. And pretty much one of the only ones I was excited to see. Yeah, I, none of the other on ones the I the recommendation liked, so. list. Yeah. Um, so this is this is your daily dose of vanilla. Yeah. That's out of the, the way. This is your only recommendation you're gonna get from yeah. us today. Yeah. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Using your internet without ExpressVPN, it's like walking your dog without a leash. Sure, it's safe, probably most of the time, but why would you want to take that risk? What if one day your dog just runs away or gets dog napped? It's better just to be careful, especially when it's as simple as just using ExpressVPN. Every time you connect to an unencrypted network in cafes, hotels, airports, whatever, your online data is not secure. Any hacker on the same network can gain access to and steal your personal data. But ExpressVPN creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet, so they can't. It would take a hacker, a supercomputer, and a billion years to crack Express ExpressVPN's encryption. And best of all, ExpressVPN works on all your devices, phone, laptop, tablet, even your smart TV. And it's so easy to use. All you need to do is fire up the app, press one button, and you're done. For me personally, since I travel so much, ExpressVPN has been a lifesaver to give me peace of mind. Maybe I'm in a different country, maybe I'm in public. I never have to worry ever again. So what are you waiting for? Click that link in the description. You can also get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free at expressvpn.com slash trash taste. expressvpn.com slash trash taste. One more time, that is expressvpn.com slash trash taste. Thank you very much to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this episode. Back to the video. Let's go to the number nine on the list. I number, nine? I, number nine. I want to jump right to that one. Oh, God, okay. Really? So, I'll, I'll, so I'll be honest. Some of these, some of these, we didn't have too much to say about. Okay. I have a lot to say about this one. So number nine is called Stay Your Ara. Is that number nine? No, 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 no. Oh, the, number nine. Uh, yeah, sorry. Kanojo wa dare demo sex suru, which is this girl will have sex with anyone. Um, and that's what it's it called. is I, I exactly on my what notes, Sneako Simulator. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I typed that. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of true. Yeah. So I, this one, I typed on my notes. Let him fuck, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, who wants to explain the plot of this one? Uh, I, well, I, my uh, one is just says. NTR ugly bastard. So yeah, that's, okay, so that's so just the tag. Here, here's how. Okay, so uh, could you could you pull up the the picture for us just so I can. Uh, so there's this opens up with this guy going, "Oh man, I really like this girl." Yeah. Meanwhile, she's literally getting railed. Yep. On the bookshelf next to him in the library. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And he just confessed to her recently. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and and, <laughs> she, and he's just like listening to her getting railed and yeah. then goes and talks to her afterwards while she's on the floor, like spread out like, ah, this was my plan all along. <laughs> he's like, what? She's like, this is my life. This is what I'm into. I have many sex friends. If you want to be my girlfriend, you must be willing to watch me get railed. Yeah. Oh and he's God. like, he's like, oh, oh. And she, goes, she goes, I see you're hard. Mm. <laughs> and then she's like, how about you help me out? And he's like, um, okay. So he just starts filming her. Yeah. He doesn't yeah. just so do anything. They're, so, they're in like an alleyway, so right? So I, uh, 
I I didn't even feel bad for the guy because he he this this was the real beta in like every <laughs> hentai we saw today. Um, I was like I was like during like the second scene where he is I think hiding in the, in the closet, cupboard yeah. in, in the cupboard watching them on like a security camera Get, and she's, she's getting like railed yeah well she's getting bastard. railed and he's like obviously popping a hard on or something yeah. like that and he comes out and she's like ah I see you're still hard and I'm like okay well at least she's my throwing a bone she's yeah at least she's bone. throwing him a bone at least he's gonna get some at least he's gonna get a, some pity sex or yeah. whatever right and then she's like and then in the end she doesn't even let him fuck her he, he, yeah, he yeah. she was just like yes ah uh, you can watch me touch myself and you can touch yourself as well and i'm like what you're not even gonna let him you're not gonna <laughs> even let him like go on the ride yeah, she after liter- all of these guys have gone on the ride before <laughs> she, li- she literally <laughs> she literally just like smacks the dick is like all right get on with it come on now come on now yeah now, uh, you know, I, I, I don't believe that any man is entitled to it right but yeah listen if, you, if you're like hey we're girlfriend boyfriend but your sole job is to watch me get railed by other people i feel like get out. all right i feel like I, my whole notes were like uh, what do they say i said uh uh the mouse show you that side of me what the fuck does that mean you can do that without being railed in front of someone else what are you saying be strong brother say no have self-respect <laughs> why are you becoming the cameraman what are you doing yeah. <laughs> and then she says like ah I think when he when, she, when he comes out of the closet yeah. to be like, oh wow, that was a great job with that guy. Yeah. She's like, oh, what are you here to wipe me off? <laughs> it's like, bro, <laughs> bro, I stood up in anger. I was like, what, <laughs> boy? It's like, fuck, stand up for yourself, I please. Like, please. I was like, leave this relationship. <laughs> And then I thought, okay, well, I can't get worse than that. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. Oh my God. Boy, was I just wrong. Oh my God. So we go to a cut to a construction site where I'm-, I'm This, this okay. is the best shot in cinema, by the way. This is the best shot I've ever seen There is, there, there is pure- Iconic ab- yeah, cinema. Yeah, iconic, absolute cinema. <laughs> absolute cinema. <laughs> he, they cut to a construction site. There is a, there is a line of guys of just like big birds early guys, dick rock hard standing in a row it's and like, the camera pans it's, over. It's like, it looks like, like a sword of a military. Yeah. Like these soldiers with all their swords. Just standing with the swords yeah, like, it's, it's so fucking funny. It, it felt like a fucking Jojo scene or some shit it like did. that. Where it was like, okay, this is this is like the pillar men that you're about to take on. And this is the final boss. Um, I will say, I did really like her design in the second half. Yeah. Uh, that was that was what got me through. Yeah. I, like, I like her character design. I didn't. I, really I, th- I think the character designs kind of solo carried this for me. Um, I don't know what I don't know who this appeals to. Like I, I don't have like you know some some stuff I can understand where people are maybe coming from where they kind of like get into it. I'm sure. like okay, I can kind of see how this kind of this all comes around. Sure. Like yeah. I don't get feet. It's not my thing, mm. but I can mm-hmm. be like, I'm like, okay, I can kind of see how you you kind of got into right, this. Right. Yeah. Um, but you're talking about NTR just in general. Not NTR, but even whatever this was. This is where like where like this is not even NTR. This, this is was like, consensual NTR. Yeah, this shouldn't like be a, a thing. This like, is just like voyeurism, uh, like giga cucking. Yeah. Like <laughs> cuck- 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 <laughs> then she goes to this construction site and has a whale of a time with a party of eight, uh, while yeah. he is also seem to be really enjoying it yeah. with the camera yeah. out. And I'm just like, what am I watching? Yeah. Who am I supposed to like? What I just want to get, get behind. I just want to get in the mind of this MC. Like, what? Yeah. Like, I just want to understand yeah, how like people why, get off to it. Yeah. Like, yeah. why? Uh, I have just so many thoughts. None of them are good, and I just didn't <laughs> like it. I just wanted it to end. I yeah. was like, I don't, I don't vibe with this. <laughs> I, Did you uh, at least like the animation? Because yeah. this is the same animation as uh, the previous studio. Yeah, right? I, I like the, the animation. Yeah, the previous yeah, one, it was good. which is like, it, it was, it was fine. You know, it's but it feels like wasting such great talent on this slop on a shit story. <laughs> this, this, this slop, yeah. slop on the show. <laughs> I just didn't. I don't understand anything. I feel like yeah, when this, she was like yeah. This is me showing you who I am. I'm like, what kind of backward ass logic is that? <laughs> Any other guy would just fucking peace out at that point, you know? No, I mean, like, but he was so desperate and miserable, I guess. which I didn't, but I couldn't I, I, I feel with. like he gaslit himself because yeah, by the end he was like, um, I, uh, guys, I, I have it. a yeah, role. I love it. this role. I love being the cameraman and getting- Finally, what I'm part of society. Yeah. So like they, they, his job as the boyfriend was to just film her, right? 
Yeah. But this never really came into the equation. Like, what was happening with these films? Were they like, what were yeah. they doing with it? I like, don't know. I, I, I He was like, just filming it. The dudes were like, cheers, yeah. mate. All yeah. hold on. I would have been like semi okay with it if he at least got some action. But he was yeah. the Rose only. Pathetic. He man. was the only guy that did not get any action whatsoever. Just blue balls the anime. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. I just hate how pathetic they look. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and they always yeah. have to fucking hide their Look eyes. Look at that, that image there is literally that meme of like uh, someone standing and then leaning in, yeah. like beta males. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> that dumb, yeah. he's, the, he's, the, he's, the, he's the, the beta here leaning away from the Yeah, chair. oh my God. Yeah, I honestly, I am surprised this was in the- uh, Wait, was this popular? This, was, this was like the- People liked this What? One, apparently. This was one of the recommended ones. Not the what, not, what? This was not a wild card one. This was actually what? one of the popular recommendations. There were people that just pissed me off. Yeah. I, I, I thought you, you guys tricked us with that first one and then you brought us this one. Yeah, because this one isn't even offensively bad either. The ugly, there's ugly bastards in there. When when Shh. I saw the first ugly bastard, I was like, okay. I've okay. seen worse. To be fair, <laughs> to be fair, she watches Pana like pay rent. <laughs> so I was like, all right, I guess that's fine. Yeah. If, you, if that's an arrangement you've made and you're okay with that, yeah. sure. I mean, this- You this, probably shouldn't do it in front of your boyfriend. Though. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is the NTR that didn't piss me off the most as well. Probably the most, the NTR that pissed me off the most. Oh my God. Do you, do you remember the very first uh, episode we filmed? The first hentai episode we filmed? Mm. Yeah. Where it was just like that reverse dom where that girl in the glasses. Like, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's like, that was like my recommendation. That was my, one of my favorite singular hentai episodes. Cause that was like, to me, like hot as fuck. Do you know if there's a second episode for that? Mm. Bad, right? I have never been more disappointed oh, yeah. in my life. Dude, th this right. happens so often with hentai. Have you seen the second episode of that? No, no. but I'm, I, can, I, I believe it. Cause so okay. many second episodes drop the wall. Yeah, because, because okay. That first episode. So the, the whole premise of that episode is just like, it's it's just like, it's just like domination where they, for once, like she is like com in complete control of the guy mm. and he wants to like, he wants to have sex. And for the longest time he, she holds off. She's like, no, no, you're not allowed. Mm. You are not allowed. And then she's like, finally at the end it happens. And you're like, oh, this is God tier. The payoff. This is God tier, there's that payoff. So in the second episode, I was like, oh, I'm ready to eat good boys. I'm ready to eat good. So what happens is, all right, she's, that was like, episode one was the right amount of crazy. There is like, you know, you know, the crazy scale. That was like, that was like the right amount of crazy mm. hot scale. Mm. Uh, so for the second episode, she literally just invites him out on a date. Then she hires two guys to just, Gangbang her <laughs> in front in, in in front of him, and then yeah, I I I have never been more disappointed in a sequel. That's since, like a real uh, left turn since the fucking I, I what's what's the disappointing sequel? The fucking Star New Age Star Wars Mulan Mulan, fucking, Mulan two Mulan <laughs> two, <laughs> and 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 then it's it the it Mulan turns into two. like oh yeah you like this you like this and then and then it turns into like okay this is a bit to the guys actually to her being like okay guys this is enough right you've you've done what you paid for mm. I'm gonna go f I'm gonna go have sex with my boyfriend now and I'm like okay okay Based okay the warm up lads. okay may maybe if there's the payoff okay there is a payoff off, maybe it's worth it. And then the guy's just like, actually, we don't want to stop. So they just like pin down the guy and just like full on like go to town. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, this is this is just awful now. This yeah. is this you you had something gods here, then you've completely fucking ruined it. And that is the one that has pissed me off the most. That is the NCR that pissed me off. I'm the kind most. of scared because I didn't watch episode two of this one, and I don't even want to know where it goes. It's it's probably yeah. gonna go down that route. It probably goes like some real. Yeah, I I don't think this one has an episode it does, two. Right? No. Does it? I thought it did. Maybe. They knew it was mid. They <laughs> even the studio was like, this this, this Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second, Bro. There's two. Oh, there's one shit. and two. Uh we just had to cut a bit because we wanted to see what happened in the second episode. Yeah. Uh, and it turns out that she ends up sleeping with him yeah. and apologizing and professing her love for him Actually. after after NTRing him into oblivion. <laughs> uh, however, however, I don't know. Like, listen, if, if like if if Khan, if you came in and you were like, hey man, uh, 
<laughs> so I, when I came in, I was like, hey guys, sorry, you know, uh, it's been going great. We in this relationship. Yeah, she did NT army 20 times, uh, but we're cool now. Yeah. Look, what would you be like? You'd be like, you'd be like, Connor, what the fuck? Man? Look, look, I don't I, think, I don't think you can like move look, on this, from that. This, That's is, a big this deal. is the world of hentai. They have probably got to go through like 10,000 therapists to sort out what their relationship issues are no, going to bro, be like going Japan. forward. Is, what do you mean therapy? We get married, we sleep in different rooms. We never talk about it. Every also, day. do you think this motherfucker has friends. No, he doesn't. <laughs> no, he doesn't. In, in the context of hentai, this is uh, peak character development, man. I was sure, not expecting- this is rare. This is I was rare not expecting that. Okay. It only Actually, feels like in hentai that you this can This is develop. the Code Geass yeah. plot twist. This is the biggest plot twist <laughs> I've seen. This is the Code Geass endings of hentai. I, I, I was more shocked looking at this than, than any plot twist in Jujutsu Kaisen <laughs> season two, man. Yo, go again. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, go, go. They, they said it was impossible. <laughs> No, fucking Gojo didn't shock me as much as uh, this uh, seeing that this, scene right here. This motherfucker here. was like, right, nah, actually, I'd win. <laughs> actually, this 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 might actually be a good hentai. This, it, does, <laughs> it does actually feel like when I when I watch these kind of shows, especially for when we do these videos. Yeah, it never goes well for the guy. No, it always just goes worse and worse. Yeah, this is the first time I've seen an NTR that has a happy end. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know how happy this. Well, oh, happy, <laughs> happy is a spectrum, Connor. This yeah. is yeah. happier and bro, happier. Still, and bro, how is she going to pay rent now? <laughs> bro, <laughs> he's he's got to come. Bro, he's going to come knocking. You know what I mean? Like, or oh, the, oh, the entire yeah. construction site. Yeah. What are they? You know, they're going to come a knocking. Guy in the library. He has to go to school the next day and look at him. <laughs> Uh, he's like, oh, dude, yeah, dude, that's so, I'm so hyped for you, man. Like, fuck this, man. Yeah. I what a fucking mess. I can't believe you pulled off a nah in the <laughs> yeah. second episode. <laughs> I, 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 this is, I, uh, the, yeah. These kind of shows just made me feel sad. Um, I'm glad, I'm glad it worked out for him. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> happy for you, bro. I'm happy for you. Uh, I might actually go off and watch the second episode now that it has a happy ending. Sick. The only NTR I've seen with a happy ending. If you have any more recommendations for NTRs with happy endings, yeah, I, I, this is the first one I've ever experienced. Entice where they apologize for NTRing. <laughs> yeah. And, and become a yeah. Better Cause that'll solve it. Yeah, oh my God. Okay. Okay, actually top tier recommendation. No, I might, I no, might, I might actually I'm have not, to go I'm, check out the second episode now. Oh my God. I don't think it makes up for the painful episode one viewing <laughs> no it's 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 like the pain you get through to like that's where the payoff comes yeah, this, in this Connor. is the steins gate yeah yeah we're, we're, oh, we're, we're, you gotta endure the first half yeah. to enjoy the second half <laughs> they call it a redemption arc for a reason connor you know you the second the first half is just the build up yeah. for the second half payoff <laughs> yeah. it's exactly like steins gate <laughs> my girl just like vegeta man she started <laughs> off as the villain but now she but now she realized she, the, this is vegeta going super saiyan right yeah, here yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is vegeta like, yo, this was worth the hype. This is Vegeta sacrificing himself, but instead of like using the power to sacrifice himself, he's just sacrificing all the cocks he's been sucking yep. this entire time. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much for <laughs> that hentai recommendation. All wow. Right. Well, uh, now I can say that that was probably the second most vanilla one. Actually, yeah. no, no, no. There is another vanilla one that's. Oh yeah, we we'll try have, that one. Uh, Which one? The the. But the do you want to hot moms? What is it that one or is it the little devil girlfriend? No, the the mom one was more vanilla, I think. Oh yeah, that was probably my least favorite. That was my, that was what my the least fuck? Well. That was my favorite. Yeah, of course it was. What? That what? Was, dude, that was shit. Okay, so the English what? title of this one is Anyone You Can Do, I Can Do Better. <laughs> I love that title. <laughs> <laughs> well, and what is it? I, I'm I'm more near certain the Japanese translation. Yeah, is the not the bad. Japanese title is Bakunyu Oyako, which means uh. <laughs> Mother and daughter, massive tits. <laughs> <laughs> massive titty, mother and daughter. I um, mean, yeah, because Oyakudan is mother, uh, chicken, chicken, like yeah, uh, yeah, parent and child. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, um, this one was so mid two thousand. This one was I so think, funny. I uh, think I, I think I, it pained me. How, I couldn't yeah. stop laughing at how long they kept showing the boob scene for. Oh my god! <laughs> it was like a two minute shot I, there was... of him fondling her boobs. Yeah, it was so it just long. Kept it was going. so funny. It just kept going. <laughs> And they use so much repeated animation. It's I thought so yeah. I thought I was watching Gundam Seed for a second. It's like the man. same four frames repeated. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. It was just it was like- this shot for like, like two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I'll, tell, I'll, tell. I'll tell you guys the plot, all right? Yeah. So uh, 
this guy meets up with his friend in the cafe. He's like, hey, this girl uh, needs private tutoring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're the only one she wants to be private tutored by. For so. some reason. And he's like, ooga, ooga, because he has big boobs. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's like, yeah, of course I'll private tutor. He goes over to her house, uh, immediately starts fondling her. Yeah. yeah. Like there is literally no talking. <laughs> yeah. He just sees her and starts fondling. And I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I was like, why does he just start <laughs> groping her yeah. out of nowhere. There's no conversation or anything. He just does it. And he presumably, he literally met this girl like one scene ago, mm -hmm. but she apparently big fan of it. And so then they, yep. you know, they, they yeah. have some fun. Mind you, this is like three minutes into the first episode. Yeah. Not even, yeah. not even, it's like two. <laughs> yeah. And then the next three minutes is just the same shot of him <laughs> doing this with the boobs. Yeah. And, and, and it's I just like, Minimal dialogue as well. Yeah. There, yeah. there was literally no talking and- It's like an AMV. And the soundtrack was looping and yeah. it was driving me insane because I was watching on two times speed. Yeah. And, go, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I'll, okay. I'll tell you my favorite uh, shot of this hentai. So, <laughs> so Mudan, you can show these for the Patreons. Uh, there, when the, so the second half, mm. so he starts off with the daughter, <laughs> then he goes off to the mum. Yeah. For the second half, when the mum reveals her tits, I swear to God, there is a fucking vine boom. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is they, really? they is added there really? like They added a cinematic boom where the mum, where the guy oh. just goes, Boom! <laughs> and then her tits get revealed, and I swear to God, there is a blind boom that plays, and I just could not stop laughing. Because I'm like, yes, yes, okay. Is this the sound effect it Connor was... hears when he watches a MILF hentai? Yeah. You know? In my head, the vine boom. Yeah. Uh, it was very weird, because uh, out of nowhere, the mom kind of explains all. She's like, yes, it turns out my daughter was in love with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and she always wanted to be with you, but now I want to be with you for no apparent reason. <laughs> Literally no, presumably they've never even met. No. And and like, she's like, yeah, so I guess let's just do it. And by the way, you can never cheat on me. <laughs> Which I was like, what the fuck is going on Even here? though, you know, yeah. I am cheating on you right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was or like, I was yeah. very confused. I was like, well, what, what what are the mother's motivations here? Yeah. Other than- <laughs> what, She just wants like, some action, bro. Yeah. Like, I, I like kind of prefer a little bit when there's a little bit more reasoning behind it. Right. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and he just kind of sits there the entire time. It doesn't really do anything. Yeah, and I was like, okay, not much uh, characterization in this one, huh? Really, it's nothing. Just, yeah. yeah, very, you're very just like two D, just like NPC type characters in this. Yeah, one, which um, is probably why I didn't really enjoy this <laughs> a lot. And I, I, I the animation because a lot of these are uncensored and watching yeah. them un uncensored made me realize I actually think I like it censored. Yeah, no, I totally agree. <laughs> the yeah, animation of this part sometimes is a bit grotesque. With yeah. this one, this is the same studio that did Mother's Mother Knows Breast. Yeah, did I you tell. recognize that? I yeah, because tell. because yeah. his 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 uh, penis looked like a geo dude. It was like <laughs> it was like the veins. Like also, a rock. also that motherfucker's ball sack is the smoothest <laughs> thing I've ever seen in my life. It was like two <laughs> eggs. <laughs> I'm like nobody's nut sack is that smooth. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I believe this is Studio Milky or oh, the gosh. vanilla series, which anyone who grew up in my generation, they know yeah. Yeah. that uh, uh, this, this, is, this is like for the OGs. Yeah. But I don't understand. So this was this also one of the- I'm guessing people put this in for you, Connor, because yeah, uh, this was also one of like one, the ones that were dedicated by, uh, sorry, that were recommended by popularity. Mm. Um, and this one was like- All right, so North Connoisseur, I mean, yeah, what, do you, I, what do you think? I mean, I think when you compare this to something like Masterpiece, obviously one that I've spoken at great lengths about, yeah. um, mm -hmm. you know, you, you, it's kind of, Masterpiece is just this, but better, essentially. Right, right. Yeah. Except, except the daughter's twins. Yeah. But like, you know, adding an extra one minute of characterization yeah. and payoff is it goes such a long way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the animation was way better. Yeah, yeah, and um, because there's also a masterpiece like they actually try to hide it from each other. They're cheating as well. Right? Yeah, and he's doing all of them. It's yeah. like in a way, of a plot, right? which makes it so good. Because then there's like a they do this whole scene where she's like they're like railing him in the in the bath or something, and you're like, oh, this is this is dope because like it actually feels like she's trying to keep it a secret. In this one. She he just starts fucking the daughter again, and the mom just walks in right away. There's like no tension built up at all, and you're like, "What the fuck is this?" I like that when she told him, "Don't like, cheat. don't cheat on me." Literally that, one like, minute later, <laughs> he cheats. <laughs> one minute, it's like, I got one more. Yeah. I, I can hear the summoning salt music go. The you know the intro synth he uses. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, and that is how he did it. <laughs> the frame rule. <laughs> yeah. It, 
the it didn't last long as, um, at all, and it ended, I guess, on a cliffhanger because yeah. well, there's, there's an episode two. Yeah, there's an episode two. She walks in on him, and she's like, "Bro, I've no. Are, I, you, are I, you really? Are you really? Episode really? two is gonna. I haven't watched it, but this is how it always plays out. It's gonna be like a, a solo scene with one of them, and mm. then just double scenes. Yeah, yeah, that's. that's it's gonna be like yo tournament arc. Yeah. Let's, yeah, let's have. It. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna like 1v1 me, bro. Except instead of bro, it's gonna be like her own daughter. They're gonna be like, who has, who gives the better sex? Who can make him cool and the then, most? And then at the end, they both do good sex. And yeah. then they end off with a harem scene. We've seen is it, it is all that before. because of the title, you think that? Yeah, th th yeah. I, I bet you there's a scene in episode two where the daughter or the mom says to one another, you know, anyone you can do, I can do better. I miss the days where localizations, they would actually get creative with their titles. You like give them like American porn titles. Yeah, yeah, like mother knows breasts. Anyone you can do, I can do better. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I asked that. I remember. I think when we had the last episode, I I, I managed to speak to someone who uh, used to do some of the the localization, and I asked yeah. them why were the titles so weird, mm. and they said because people wouldn't buy them. Yeah, if they yeah. were like mother and daughter, big, big titty big, parents, yeah. big titty parents. Yeah. Right? yeah, apparently they which wouldn't they wouldn't sell as well. Yeah, well, so, I mean that makes sense. Fair enough. How do you get yourself to stand out? Yeah. You know? I mean, In Japan, mother, it's mother just- Mother breast is iconic. Yeah, yeah but, that, you know? it, it just rolls on the title. Tongue. It's just yeah. such a dumb title and it's just so funny. Um, I, th I think my favorite title uh, that I remember, for, what are some titles? I remember there was a title called The Hills Have Size as well. Yeah, yeah I know that one. That the, was, the, that's, the a great, that was a great yeah, movie. That's, that's, yeah. that's the one where you, you fucked my grandpa to death. I love that one. <laughs> 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 and you sodomized me. <laughs> yeah, that one's that one's, that one, that one, that one's really That good. one's great. That one's a classic. Yeah. Class. <laughs> what is that one? She's that one's got the iconic line. It's like double D's, golden showers. I don't care what it is. I'll do it. I'll do it all for you. But um, uh, yeah, I mean, this is. I I swear to God, I don't know where this. What if whatever happened to this hentai studio? Because they used to be every second hentai, and now they've just. I dropped mean, they're really big in like the mid two thousands, right? Mid to late two thousands, I believe. I like the Studio Gonzo of hentai studios. <laughs> I swear to God, you know what I mean. <laughs> like, they really are. Anyone, anyone who doesn't know what I'm talking about, you probably did not watch anime when uh, me and Joey got into Gonzo like anime. Fans rise up. <laughs> I remember Gonzo, but good old days. Yeah, most of their of titles mid one are pretty huh? mid. Yeah, yeah very two thousands. Wait, they made First Love? What's the most popular one? You can filter by popularity. Yeah, what's, what's the most popular one? No, you, uh, on the right on the, there, the right. it says filter. Yeah. yeah. See, this this is this is something where I would prefer the oh. English names. Oh, sorted by, do sorted by. Yeah, sorted by popularity. Sorted by score. Oh, it, it is sorted by popularity. First Love is the highest rated one. First Love is the highest rated one. That's only a 6.8, nice. I mean, I don't. Th I think every hentai is pretty lowly popular, uh, lowly rated. What's what, sort by members? Well, Ima, Iz Ima Izumi was a seven point eight. Well, that's which is pretty high. That's, that's a masterpiece. I mean, it deserves to be. All higher. right, so we just got recommended the most popular title wow. of this studio because that has yeah. the most members, yeah. and I would like to say. Why? <laughs> can we? Can we see Why? I actually, I'm curious. Can we see the reviews from Mother Nose Breast? <laughs> the fan reviews. It's, 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 it's uh, fourth. Uh, fourth on the second row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then a fourth. Fourth, fourth. Very right. Yeah, yeah that, that one, one, that one, that one. I just want to see if there's any weird comments. All right, five point nine one. Not, not, zoom, not so zoom high. In a little bit. February twenty twenty. Uh, okay. Let's All right. See. This show is the absolute best ever. So many sex scenes, the mother shadow clone jutsu. <laughs> what? The kids watch them do it and it's so fun. This show is kind of like Toy Story. <laughs> the kid is like the toys, the mother is Andy. Unfortunately, Buzz Lightyear isn't here yet. This show is also kind of like The Simpsons. The guy's penis is like Bart's head. <laughs> and it is much better than Cars because Lightning McQueen doesn't get sucked. <laughs> I do have one complaint, however. Where's the ass? And why is the guy's penis such an egg? He can crack it. And a whole chicken comes out. <laughs> Bro, is this your old account? <laughs> yeah, dude, maybe. Yeah, ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Uh, thank you very much, True. Saber Eats, for your review there. Yeah, honestly, this one was pretty, uh, pretty mid. I'm yeah. surprised. I'm surprised that we got recommended. It's probably they the one of the most popular one. Hear me, my opinions on it, and it's fine. Yeah. It, do, it does a good job. Maybe it's not. It's no masterpiece. It's no masterpiece. It's it, no mother's no breast. It just unfortunately doesn't hit the same highs. Mm. No, but it it's doesn't. not bad, and I appreciate the recommendation either way. It is bad. I don't appreciate the recommendation. Nah, Please give I, us, yeah, give, give us, us some, something good to watch. Give us something like Yuma Izumi again. Yeah, yeah. Shall we move on to the next one then? Sure. What's the next one? The next one, do. Do we want to talk about 
Um, let's see. What <laughs> do, do we want to talk about? about temptation? Oh my lord! Since we've kind of touched upon the dub. All right. Well, right. we touched upon the dub, so we got recommended a <laughs> singular dub episode to watch. Yeah. For this one, and this one was probably the hardest one to find, this specifically really for the hard dub. To find the dub. Yeah. Yeah. This one was so fun, and um, I can see why because um, this one is pretty infamous. I think. Right. But what? I've I've never heard of it. What was the plot? Like I watched it and I was struggling to understand why he was doing what he was doing. I um I was yeah considering we wa- we watched it in our own language for once. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I was most confused about the plot for I, this I don't one because he was just like a dick. But 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 he like so the <coughs> premise is that there's it opens with this like it's like a ta- it's filmed like a Tarantino. It's like they show the ending <laughs> scene first. Yeah. yeah, and then he's like uh, he's like a molesting someone on a train. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then yeah, it yeah. cuts to just a random student just jerking it yeah uh, and then he he like listens in mm. as she opens the door and be like hey, fuck me please yeah. fuck me and he's like oh shit I, uh, I mean i guess so originally like when i first started playing this episode i was like why do why why did we get recommended this episode i don't, I don't yeah. understand because like the dubbing in terms of like the quality i don't think the dub's even that bad in no, fact it's probably good. one of the better acted dubs i'd heard uh, for a long time. Yeah. And I was like, why did they recommend this one? Maybe it was like, oh, the dub's actually good. Mm. And then the main character opened his mouth and I was like, oh, Yugi Moto, what a, what a, what are you doing here, Yugi? And then I was like, oh, I okay. He, I think he did a lot of hentai. I did he? I think was a lot of hentai with Dangri. So yeah, know. so now it made immediate sense because as soon as the main character opened his, uh, his mouth, it was Dan Green, the voice actor for- um, Although Yugi I don't Moto. think he's credited as a- I don't think he's credited, uh, yeah. but, yeah. but you can't you can't mistake that voice. You, you cannot mistake that voice was, at all. very funny. Uh, oh no, no, he is, oh, he credited. is credited. Oh wow. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> he decided not to run away from it. Yeah, he's, he owned it. Uh, yeah. it. It's just like a weird plot where like randomly, I guess the prince, because he's a professor at the school yeah. and he has relations with one of the students. Yeah. yeah. And then the, the I guess the principal who has a wall full of monitors, like some kind of Evangelion villain is like, now you must fuck more of the students. <laughs> yeah. And it's not really clear why. It, it It's kind of like, I thought he she was blackmailing him, yeah. but like also he seemed to be like really into it. He was like, yeah, yeah he was very torn. He was like, I yeah. seem to, I like doing this, but also I want to quit. Yeah. And then she's like, hey, we want you to sabotage this idol. Yeah. And he's like, uh, okay, I'll yeah. fuck her. Let's, let's, let's talk <sighs> about the scripting for this one. Oh my one. God, I have all of my notes are just these one liners okay. that I, I just hear. I swear to God, whoever wrote the script to this must have been English <laughs> or Dude, British. This is so funny. Because there was like, there was so much slang in there that I had not heard since watching the in-betweeners. Yeah. You know? They referred to it as a twat one time. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's one time where one of the girls like, just like, oh, stick your cock in my twat. But she said it with an American yeah. accent. So, so it came out as stick it in my twat. And twat. I was just like, wait, wait, yeah. what? Uh, there's um, some, no, they, my, they referred to it as gash yeah, as well. A gash. <laughs> a gash, I was like, bro, am I back in high school now? It's like the nineties, bro. Yeah. Also there's that one scene where like, uh, I guess like the the idol that is getting like blackmailed or extorted is like supposed to be a lesbian or something. Oh, can we talk about the last scene? And then and then he just says this line. I have it written down. He says verbatim, and there you are munching tuna tacos. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's the worst way you could have said that. <laughs> Fucking hell. There's oh. so many one-liners that had me like- laughing. Oh, the other one was like, when they're about to, in that last sex scene, he says, what's White Snake's ninth album? Slide it in. <laughs> Did they say, I totally missed that. And guess what? White Snake, the band, their ninth albums, Slide It In. Yeah. Which is like, whoever wrote that is a fucking it genius. It does seem like, yeah, the writers were just having fun with it. I think the voice actors were also having fun with it as well. But I think what, so- I think what sold it was like, uh, there's there's this um, great. Cl- I'm gonna I'm gonna go on a tangent here. There's yeah. this clip from like uh, Brian Cranston, yeah. uh, where he talks about you know how to like act in comedy, yeah. and he t- he says that if the actors you know you can you can act something and you can know it's funny, but when you're acting that scene, if you are not 100% serious about it, it's going to be less funny. Yeah. For example, you know if you don't take that character 100% seriously, mm. the the comedy 
isn't going to be portrayed as well because we can we can do a bit on trash taste and we can laugh about it because mm. it's like very meta but in like a scripted in a scripted bit it doesn't work as well so i think what made a lot of these lines work so well is the way they are delivered with 100 percent seriousness oh, yeah. <laughs> because i think there is probably the like magnum opus of all hentai dub sex scenes because they it's there you know when i think hentai dub sex scenes i think of things like bible black sure where mm. the acting is so bad mm. uh, I'm dying! yeah <laughs> <laughs> well, the acting is so bad and you can laugh at that yeah but then you have something like temptation where you have the last sex scene and you're like okay the characters are getting into it and then you have one of the most out of pocket moments I've ever experienced in a singular hentai <laughs> at all, where she's like, there's this girl yeah. who is a lesbian. And then you find out, uh, you know, normal hentai oh things where God. the dick is so good that he converts her. Okay, hentai <laughs> logic, whatever, yeah. whatever. Yeah. You know, I, I, I can understand. And she's like, oh, fuck me behind like a, like a dog or yeah. something. He's like, he's and then he's like, like, start like barking for me. <laughs> and then she starts barking in a really realistic way. Yeah, and I was like, okay, I can kind of see that. That's probably, I, I was like, this has probably happened in like, it, this is probably some people have gotten too much in the moment. But, but, that, but it wasn't this. even like, you know, when, when you see that in like normal, like, you know, just Japanese voice hand time, yeah. right? you know, usually it's kind of like a, <laughs> Or something, yeah. right? This one, she's like guttural. She's like, yeah. oh, oh. Yeah. She's like DMX. Yeah, she's like, oh, oh. I'm like, damn, who does the dog down? I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> that ain't a dog, and that's then, a dog. And then after that, he goes, now cluck like a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's she, she like, what? <laughs> so just do it. And it's just like, <laughs> it's so good. I, 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 I think was, I think was sold that scene God. was just how realistic it yeah, was. She's <laughs> fucking so good. <laughs> And then right at the end, he's like, I'm about to come, cluck like you're we're about to lay an egg. <laughs> and it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm like, holy shit. It was so funny. How do you stay hard in that? Uh, just, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah just what, what made that scene an absolute masterpiece. I think it was just like the her reaction was like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just like, what? <laughs> Cause I could, I could feel like this is like, I could feel this happening in real life where there's like this one dude that's just like way too yeah. into it. Which is like, oh yeah, she's barking so like a fun. dog. And she's like, okay, now cluck so like a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> also, this one line that I really loved because you know during that sex scene, I guess the the first girl that you see on the train yeah. is mm -hmm. like filming the whole thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> Before the girl starts barking, he just says this one line, which is really funny. He says, "How's the lighting? Maybe you should go up another f stop." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, what is this? Like a YouTube video? <laughs> <laughs> why? Why? Would they? Only YouTubers will get that. I mean, like, I, I, go I'm, up another I'm, ref stop. I'm photographers. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when I went to. Uh, oh my uh, god. I, I went to. I type. I try to find this. It's yeah. really hard to find it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, it was. <laughs> I found it on Pornhub, but I wasn't sure what it was, and because I didn't know if it was the right one. Sure. It was called something really fucking weird on Pornhub. Like. Uh, okay. It was called like uh, what was it? The Subway <laughs> Gun Smasher. <laughs> What? <laughs> this, the subway the cunt su smasher. The subway cunt smasher. But it was the wrong one. It wasn't the right one, but this one came up and I was like, what on earth is Why this? Why would we not recommend that one? Um, I was like, what no, a this, I, I'm, I'm glad oh, I, was oh, I we were recommending this one. This one was- I, I haven't had a this laugh one was in a while. Absolute gold tier. Oh, so I actually funny. watched so a bit much. of- I actually watched a bit of it of the second episode as well. Mm. And uh, I discovered a little secret that Sydney had been keeping from me as wow. well uh because <laughs> there's this one scene where the main characters watching some people having sex on screen yeah and then uh dan green is just like oh yeah she's just young dumb and full of cum and i was like wait a minute i've heard that line before oh, no. and I, oh, no. I fucking tapped the space bar ran up to sydney and i was like Sydney, where'd you get that line from? And she's like, oh, I thought I thought of it myself. And I was like, no, no, yeah? no way. Oh yeah, my, oh yeah, my look dear? at this. Oh yeah, well, Sydney, I, I have some receipts right here of this underground hentai dub. Do you wanna do you wanna do you wanna, do you wanna sit on the podium while I exhibit A, play this for you? And she's like, 
Oh yeah, I got it from that. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, it's not even from that hand. My dad's been saying that shit for years. Oh, seriously? Yeah. My dad. My, every time I did something really stupid, like growing up, he's just like, "Hey, yeah. just young, dumb, full cum." <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, I think that's just a thing that's been around for years. But I'm not surprised yeah. he got it from this. <laughs> but um, uh, it was yeah. fun. It was very fun. This one was so funny. Uh, yeah. Who are the female voice actresses for this? Because I saw. I, I, I don't think the, we know. Yeah, they go, they I saw the female on. voice actress had a. A listing as well. I oh, wonder, really? yeah, I wonder if she, so Dan Green did the main. Oh, yeah. I don't think it shows. Go more, main, more, Go more, yeah, more characters. characters. Yeah. Michelle Knox. No, yeah. hold on. Oh yeah, no, it's only two of the characters. Who's Michelle Knox? Probably isn't, it could be in it. Uh, well, it's one of the other main characters, yeah, well, that, I was, guess. that was one of the other main characters. Yeah, none of the other characters have. Oh, there you go. One. Oh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm curious now, I'm curious. Carrie, um, if, if if Dan Green is the only voice actor who went on and did something after hentai as well, uh, Everyone, you, everyone starts somewhere, I guess. I can, mean, can you can you can you click on can you click on Michelle Knotts? Oh, she was in Pokemon. Wow, she wow. voiced she voiced Psyduck, <laughs> Psyduck and Onish. No, this this one hentai is like and Bulbasaur oh and Jesse and Jesse and Jesse. Oh, she's the voice of Jesse. What and Misty? Holy shit! Holy Man, fuck. this this one. Hentai dub is just like how to ruin a childhood 101. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like oh only, only done Pokemon oh my stuff. God. Oh wait, she's just been like the voice of Jesse like forever. Yeah. yeah. And like the a voice. bunch of Pokemon, Latios, Latias. Yeah. But like all Holy the voice crap. actors sounded so good. Yeah, that, that, I, I, I guess, yeah. Like I guess that's why this is unironically one of the best hentai dubs I've ever heard in my life. Oh, she was in Iki Tolson as well. Um, that's so swag that she's been doing Pokemon for decades. Yeah. Oh, she, so was cool. she was in Queen's Blade. She was in Queen's Blade. It's else? either, she's either in one of the most wholesome children's shows <laughs> or some of the most degenerative <laughs> anime out there. Is this the equivalent of, you know, when like you're in a school and you have like that one that one teacher and then you find out that teacher has an OnlyFans or something like that. Is, <laughs> is this like the equivalent of oh, that? Oh no. <laughs> Holy shit. She's been doing the voice of so many Pokemon too. Yeah. She's in Aria. Aria. Oh yeah. And there, uh, she there, there's, there, there she it is. There she is in Temptation. There it is. Holy and fuck. And Portal Rocket. I saw there was another one as well. Can you can you go back? She was in Aria and uh No, can you go back to Temptation? Uh scroll down. Who's yeah, who's this voice actress? All right. Carrie Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. Pokemon. The legend of Oh, oh my god. Oh, okay, anime. that's a lot as well. She was in <laughs> Bastard. Berserk? Platinum she was Man. Casca in Berserk? <laughs> okay. In the Golden Age. Uh, wow. Wow. Tokyo okay. Avengers, Shaman King. <laughs> This is this is impressive. Red Pretender, yeah. Damn, Boongo Stray Dogs. What a fucking list. Yeah, Persona yeah. Five. Persona Five. Holy fuck. Damn, the cast of this she one. She was Caroline and Justine in Persona Five. The the cast of this one hentai was absolutely <laughs> stacked. Jesus. Damn. I'm wondering what the there must there must be like an interesting story to go with the licensing of oh, this I'm hentai. Oh sure, then. yeah. Because like this, okay, that like one one voice actor. You know that, that might be a one-off, but like three now well-established voice actors and actresses in the in the industry. That, that I'm guessing there must be a really interesting story I mean, that's gone on know, behind the scene. Someone needed to dub it, and there was work to be had. Wait, she was yeah. mommy from Madoka Magica. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's a pretty major role. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. I, I, oh, I am 100 impressed. And yeah, Temptation is the, right. the Kickstarter of a lot of careers. Let's, uh, what's All the right. next one? Next one, little devil girl. I guess we can talk about little devil girl. Yeah, we can. Um, we can. Uh, little devil girlfriend. So fantastic animation. Oh, um, amazing animation. I, I picked I, pineapple. I was not really a fan of the art God. style. I like the. I like the art style. Why do you like the yeah, art, art style? Yeah, art style's what dope. So this, eh. the premise of this one was that there was a, especially the ring. Yeah. Um, but instead of a ghost coming out, if you watch it, you become a succubus. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I just loved how the the side effects of this like cursed DVD is the fact that the more this girl thinks about her crush and the hornier she gets, the bigger her tits get. Yeah, that was very funny. And <laughs> Which then, is really funny. It was actually quite a funny show. It was, like, yeah. I was watching yeah. it and I was laughing. Like yeah. I thought, okay, this is pretty funny. And yeah. so the, it's kind of like a series of one shots. And the first one shot, yeah, is like a, the girl whose boobs get bigger when she thinks about a crush. Yeah. And but of no, course it, she it runs was, into him in school. I don't, I don't think the highlight of the first episode for this one is the first half. It's well, the second half. No, because I, I liked this show. Um. I liked the first part. I did not like the second half. 
The second half, I think, is just like top tier Futanari. It was a Futanari, but it was like watching a WWE match. Oh, it was, it it was, was that's like, what made it so it was, good. And so she's good. coming in the ring with a new cock <laughs> and she's going for it. <laughs> that, that, that a scene. reversal. <laughs> the people's elbow. <laughs> that scene. So the premise of the second half is- Listen, um, the first half's better. All right, our first half enjoyer. Watch the first half. It's some good nah, vanilla. Second it's half is better. Second vanilla. half is better. It's some better. good naughty vanilla I, with I, succubus. I enjoyed it from start to finish, to be honest with you. It's Bro, a this, great show. The second half made me laugh so hard as well. So what happens? So the first half is more of like a more vanilla story. Yeah. Guy like guy, uh, girl likes a guy. Girl watches the video and suddenly she gets really, really horny. And they fuck and it's amazing. And then yeah. they have sex. And then in the second half, uh, there is this sister duo and what the older sister watches the video and surprise, surprise, she grows a penis. And then, why? <laughs> why? I, I as, don't know as why. You do, as you do. I don't know why. <laughs> this was the part that made me like do the, the rock vine boom the most is yeah. that then the, the the little sister walks in and goes, ah, let me help with this. Yeah, no. I was like, huh? No, the, the little sister's like, big sister, what's going on? And then suddenly because the video makes you like really, really horny, mm. um, the, the little, uh, the big sister's like, yo, suck it. So she gets, <laughs> she gets on top of the little sister and she's like, big sister, I'm so confused. Fun, and there's this, this one, so there's this one Classic scene, fooder. there's this one scene where the big sister just takes her newly formed cock and just like slaps her several times with it. <laughs> okay, that was funny. That was funny. And that, she's is, like, that is the WWE equivalent when you know when they're just slapping on the chest. <laughs> yeah, like, this, this was like when you watch it, it literally has the same story beats of a WWE yeah. fight. Yeah. It, was, it was textbook WWE. She, she's like, "What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Hey, hey, hey what are you gonna do?" <laughs> and then so you know that happens, and yeah. it's just like you know your normal food scenario thing, and then plot twist. After they have sex, the, the big sister comes to, and she's like, oh, I don't know what happened to me. Must've been a curse. And then plot twist, it ends. The little sister is watching the video and he's oh, just like, shit. yo, reverse Uno card. I got you now. My time. I got you now. It's, it's my I time. I don't hear no bell. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, she comes in with the chair. <laughs> this was just a weird one. I mean, the food scenario, I was kind of like, all right. I mean, yeah. uh, all right, I, I guess. Nah. Why do they have to be sisters? For God's sake, it was like- <laughs> Nah, the food shit was hot. Yeah. No, I don't yeah. care what anyone says, no, that shit was hot. I do. Okay. That so was, it was go to first episode. I am not surprised that this was recommended a lot mm -hmm. because on all of our trash taste tours, uh, one of the most popular picks consistently, we had a segment where we asked the audience to name their favorite hentai tag and Futanari was consistently at yeah. the top or near the top. Based. So this was just like a really good top tier Futanari in the second half. So I'm, I'm, I'm not surprised this was on there. Also, I, also this purple haired girl you see in the first half, you've probably seen everywhere. She's like, Wait, what, yeah. Really? yeah, like she's a really, like, especially that first image there, the very, very left, like this cover you see fucking everywhere Wait, when really? people talk about hentai, yeah. Really? Like I, I immediately, the moment I saw this cover, I was like, oh yes, I know. I'd, this I'd never seen or heard of yeah. this before. I've read the Dojin as well, um, which is also great. She was a great character. I kind of yeah. wish we got more of her. One, one of the reasons I don't like this art style is just because when the proportions seem a little bit too off, I'm just like, you're weak, eh. you're weak. No. Nah. No, she was so hot. She was so hot. She was very hot. She's I. She's I. <laughs> She's, I'm yeah. just also going to assume their college age and just ne not never look it up. And then I go. Yeah, yeah. Those kinds of questions you never. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, just cause like the, like when, when, when her like tits just expanded, <laughs> it was just like, oh, this is, this is like, this just looks weird now to me. Yeah. It, it was almost... kind of weird, but I was like, well, this still looks proportional. Yeah. <sighs> It, it, it was just like a little bit too much. Also, what I thought was too really much. funny was like when like she, I guess first runs into the her crush and yeah. like you can see like her heart beating, but at the same time, her tits are also like bouncing in time with her heart as well. And I'm like, that's not, that's not how that works. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going uh, on there. I mean, it was like actually kind of funny. Like it was a it funny, was funny show, so yeah. I, I yeah. just enjoyed it. It was like it was lighthearted, actually, yeah. Yeah, it, it was- As lighthearted, I guess, as it was. <laughs> yeah, it was a good mix between just, pure horny stuff and some cool lighthearted scenes as yeah. well that uh, 
you talk about with your bros Throw as we're some doing classic now. Classic in there, it's all good. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm not too big a fan of the art style and the character designs. That's that was like Futa. my big thing, but Futa, the Futa was hot as shit. Yeah, and I can see why this was recommended. Aside from that, I don't really have too much to say about this one. Oh really? I uh, sure. I think the only thing I said uh, is <laughs> the, my the last the one of two bullet points I have that I just written down. She comes from her tail? Question <laughs> mark. Yeah, that was that was interesting. <laughs> Thing. I, and I typed in, wait, what the fuck, why? Uh, I don't know what that, that was about. Why is the animation so good? It I is. Said, yeah. it is uh, good. The animation was incredible in this. It was for mm, like- yeah. Pink pineapple, man. Pink pineapple, uh, go. But yeah. like, it's better animation than like 80% of anime nowadays. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So. Pink pineapple do be like that. The the one no I had for this uh, that I haven't mentioned. Uh, I, I I think I think it was the first time I watched a Futa, right? Yeah. And I, 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 I haven't watched no no no. I, the first time I watched a Futa, and I saw this because this is like I noticed that first time I've seen someone spawn a dick and then suggest going to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> the the actual human response to uh, yeah that would, would actually be like to, my first response. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh yeah, I think we should. Holy shit, to. that is true. <laughs> I, I I remember watching that scene and like the sisters like. Yo, should we go to the hospital? I don't think you are. I don't yeah. think that's a normal bodily function that should happen. I think yeah. every uh, other footer is just like, oh, or it's just like, I'll fix it. <laughs> <laughs> never consider a yeah. professional. Never questions it at all. Nah. But like, yeah, maybe if you, if that suddenly happens to you spontaneously, <laughs> yeah, maybe you should uh, go see your doctor. I don't know if that's a permanent thing. Oh, I, I don't know. God. I don't know what is, uh, what is, uh, what what What's is the, the correct response? What is the correct response for that? <laughs> <laughs> no idea. But no. Yeah. Uh, this, was yeah. a good, this was a good one. I enjoyed yeah. this one. Shall we move on to the last popular pick? Which is? Wait, what? This was a popular one, actually. What? This was the second most popular one. No. Which one? You thought it was a wild card one. Which one? It is Night Shift Nurses. Oh God, why? That was the most popular? That was the second most popular. Why? Popular, that was how, this, how does everyone know about this? This I've was, okay, I've I've heard of this series before, Maybe. but I never was interested in watching it but just because I can't get into hentai with this kind of art style. I, just, I love this art style. I, oh, you I, do? It's I, so ugly. I, I think it's I so fuck, ugly. This, this it's ugly as shit. I, 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 I cannot get I into I think this. this art style and this animation looks better than like most hentai no. nowadays. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I I'm serious. I don't like the muted kind of colors. Yes. Yeah, I love same. the muted colors. Really? I, yeah. I, I, I can't do it. Yeah, the, the muted colors just bring such a unique aesthetic to but, it. But if the art already <sighs> wasn't appealing to me, then we had to watch, uh, what was really? it? Episode four. Yeah. Right. Yes. In particular, this is the one, episode four was the one you guys specifically recommended for this. And it was one of the worst things I've ever this seen. Gave, this gave that Boba one a, a run for yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. This nearly came as like nearly as bad. Legit, yeah. legit. Uh, yeah. This was really um, vile, like just I, vile. I just want to know who recommended this one so I can, uh, so I can come to you. So and give I, you a I, feel, slap. I, I feel bad people had to animate this. Yeah, I, and I have, animate it well. Yeah, yeah, I have the most amount of bullet points on this one. Uh, starting with my first bullet point being the art is whack. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I wrote some notes to this one the too. The art actually. was the only I, thing I, I did like. Okay, one I thing I really know. miss about Tentai. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, We're bringing did, out the I did, scroll. I did, I did, right, this one. I did write right. some notes about this. We, one. we need right. some wise words. What, what, what are the wise words? What the fuck? The entire show was what the fuck. I, I can get behind this. This, this, and we'll yeah. explain why in the next segment. This yeah. is fucked up. This show is fucked as I yeah. wrote in my notes. Yeah. So, like, the before we get onto the depraved shit, I want to. The, the one thing I miss from old hentai, yeah. um, I, I like the fact they show pubic hair. I don't know. Every so many modern hentai's now, everyone is just like perfectly fucking smooth. Yeah, I, mean, I don't care and about that. I'm, I'm indifferent. Yeah, yeah I'm indifferent. I, 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 I like I like the aesthetic of just like this old school because th that's where I only get to see it nowadays. I, yeah, I, I think also because we only watched episode four, we did miss a lot of context. But I think there's enough in the show that you can figure. out- I don't think I want to know the context. Yeah, I just kind of yeah. want to know what the fuck's going because it kind of. I, I it, think it, essentially what I got from it was so the main character is this doctor at this hospital. And I guess he's like just horny for all the nurses and yeah. finds a way to like blackmail or extort one of the nurses. It's pretty much just a way to blackmail all the nurses. And apparently yeah. he's a top tier doctor. Yeah, and apparently <clears throat> it's like one of the, I guess the, the main nurse for this particular episode. Yeah. Her sister, I think falls ill. <laughs> and then the doctor is like, 
<laughs> so uh, she has like a hereditary problem and we can't fix her. But I also found out from doing DNA testing that you guys aren't actually real sisters. You guys are adopted and she, you don't want her to know that information, right? And the <laughs> nurse is like, no, this would break yeah, her yeah, heart yeah. and this would like kill her. And then the doctor was like, well, if you don't want me to spill the beans, then bend over while I go get the yeah, beans. That was, that was what I was like, huh? Like you would rather be huh? like, yeah, huh? huh? Like you would rather do unspeakable things with this man than just tell your sister she's adopted? Yeah. Like, <laughs> why is that so bad? Yeah, didn't, like, who didn't, cares? Didn't she want to save her sister as well? Yeah. But she was, I, th I think that was like the main pool where he was like, I can perform the surgery. Yeah. But, uh, but you're also a yeah, dog. I, yeah. I, I was, the whole time when I was watching this, I was trying to figure out like, what what is the appeal of this? Like, what is, is it like a dude who wants a power fantasy where he's like the top? Like I, I was just, the whole time I was like, I don't know who who walks away with this thinking this is hot. Yeah, I, there's <sighs> like there's like there's like a fine line between some of the brave shit that happens, and you're like, okay, this takes place in the world of hentai, you know, whatever. Yeah. There's like you know you can suspend your disbelief because this is like a hentai, but this was the one that really crossed that line. Like you know that the second episode of Redo of Healer, yeah, where it was acted so well and portrayed so well that I'm like, oh, this is like- Disturbing. It's getting a bit too yeah, real now. Yeah. Too the voice acting is getting a little bit too like, less like, ah, yeah. oh no, this is happening to like, oh, this is a uh, kind of like some traumatizing like shit. Snuff. Why yeah. is like the most depraved shit always in hospitals now? And <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like, you know, But like, basically yeah. there's, I think there's what, maybe three scenes back to back to back and they just keep yeah. getting worse and worse. So it so, starts off with, uh, her getting tied up and her yeah, he like pubes does, he, getting shaved. Yeah, okay. He does like immaculate bondage on her. Yeah, yeah. What happened? I, I've literally noted this down because there's this scene where he's just like, okay, get in the room. Actually, first he like fucking bitch slaps her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, slap, the slap animation was so good. Yeah. He, I, she slaps uh, him amazingly yeah, and then yeah. he slaps her. <laughs> and the animation is incredibly it's fluid. So realistic. This is like every world star video I've seen where like you see a girl slap a guy and then there's like the one video, there's like the, the one time where the guy actually slaps back yeah. and you feel the force in the slap. It's the kind of clip that inadvertently ends up on your timeline. Very line. uncomfortable yeah. the entire yeah, time. Yeah, I was, I was very good. But before that, I, I, I found it funny that, uh, so there's a scene where he is like staring at her panties or something and then she falls on him and then she accuses him of like being a pervert and he gets like angry. He gets that, so angry. He gets so angry that he gets so angry that he forces another girl to suck his dick. And I'm like, ah, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, way to not prove her points. Like uh, he's like, how dare she call me a depraved also, pervert. Also with that you, scene, you, yeah, I know she, I'm being pedantic and everything with this, yeah. but like there's a serious continuity error in that scene because like she's on, she's on the tree branch, right? Mm -hmm. And then the tree branch snaps yeah. and she falls perfectly on top of him. Yeah. Where the fuck did the tree branch yeah, go? Yeah. <laughs> like you'd think the tree branch would land on him first. Uh, yeah. yeah, and then after that scene where he gets angry, gets his penis enjoyed, uh, yeah. he leaves the bathroom and she calls him out. She's like, why are you coming out of the girl's bathroom? You're a fucking pervert. And then he gets even more angry about it. And then he gets more angry, calls a different nurse and starts fisting her. Oh yeah. Oh my fucking God. I'm just like, bro, yeah. chill. Like, yeah. how, bro, bro is just like, how is this man allowed to be here? Yeah. Presumably these nurses can't fucking work. Oh yeah. my God. Uh, yeah. It was just awful. And then yeah. it got really, really bad yeah, when he brings out the Nato. Bro, what the fuck was that? Okay, okay. You can't say that out of context, Joey. Oh, so, I don't so want to explain let, it. Let me, let me break it There's down. context? So, so like the, uh, so the scene is- I had to look away, I couldn't look. So, so, so the scene is, so this is after the slap. He like throws this girl in, in, into the room and talking about shot continuity, he throws this girl into the room and then the exact next shot, she's tied up in the most Perfectly. perfect way possible in like 0.1 seconds. It's like expert level bondage. Yeah, yeah. expert level bondage like this ain't this ain't even this is like this this ain't even like torture anymore this yeah. is this is just pure art at this point <laughs> for how well she is tied up and of course he gets like he gets like some 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 toys out yeah. and he's like oh i don't think you're wet enough let me get the lube 
<laughs> and I, I was oh. like, I was like, okay, oh. okay, it's oh. a hospital. I'm sure there is some lube that you can get out. Yeah. He brings out the fucking natto. He brings out natto out of everything you could have had in the fucking hospital. You choose natto as your lube. I'm which, sure, like back in like the I don't remember, I don't know when this came out. When did this come out? Like in the 2000s. I'd say. When this came out in the 2000s, I wonder if people even knew what natto was. Oh, like, like overseas. Yeah, they yeah. pretty much just said, like, what the fuck is that? What is that shit? Are they putting baked beans on this? <laughs> <laughs> they put <putting> beans. Beans. <laughs> they put beans. Yeah, 2000. This was yeah, 2000. Dude. And they yeah. didn't know what Nacho was back then. Yeah. I think. It must have been rare. They yeah. were like, why are they putting beans on her? <laughs> <laughs> and so, and then they, the, the animation is so gross. It's yeah. so gross. And I, I couldn't, I'd like skip through it. I was like, this is, I can't and then, And yeah. then if you thought that was already oh, bad, was, oh, he yeah. then brings out ice cold soft boiled eggs. <laughs> <laughs> and goes well. I'm a, I'm gonna impregnate you one of these days, so you should practice. What what does he say exactly? I wrote it down. You she should says, practice giving birth. So she yeah, she shoves half boiled eggs inside so she can practice giving birth. Why? Yeah, you know. Um, yeah. I, th I think what would have helped me cope with the scene better is if Dan Green came in and went, now cluck like a chicken. Yeah. <laughs> that would have made, made it so much more better. Yeah, oh that, my that, God. That would have made the scene like bearable. So he shoves like three or four of these eggs into a into a gash. Yeah. And then, and then he's like, Let's stick a couple more in the other hole. <laughs> Another egg for the other. Yeah, throws it in there and then is like, now give birth. And she goes and just fucking starts pushing them out. And then she's like, uh, if I keep doing this dog, I'm gonna shit myself. And so the guy- No, no like, you, you, you forgot one thing before that. Oh yeah. yeah, he's like, let me put it in so I can scramble. No, I, th I think you forgot something. Maybe you just- There's uh, another scene as well that you forgot too. There's, yeah. a, there's another scene where she uh, urinates. Oh, and then he sucks it up. Oh yeah! <laughs> and then, uh, so she's like, I can't, I can't remember. Is this like before or after before the egg? It's before, before the egg. I really hope by this point nobody's still eating lunch during this episode. Yeah. And this is why we we save this until we're like over an hour in. But I like she uh, she urinates and she's and he's like, I'm gonna do an epic gamer move, and he sucks it up. <laughs> he sucks it up and then forces a kiss on her. Oh. And I was just like. I was just like dry heaving yeah. at that point. Yeah, and, and of course, yeah, the eggs. And then and he then, scrambles one of the eggs inside, yeah. making I'm probably like, something that only Gordon Ramsay could accurately insult. And then- I'm like, I want Gordon Ramsay to react to this TikTok it's recipe. It's fucking raw! <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the, the piece de resistance, the final one and a half minutes, two minutes of this episode is, after he scrambles all the funny. eggs, yeah. she shits them out. <laughs> and it's, it's for like, like, and the scene it's is like, like- It's like two minutes long. It's like of two pooping. minutes long of just like- <laughs> And they have like the, those like Looney Tunes ass whoopee cushion sound effect going. <laughs> <laughs> <It's like laughs> you, could, you could literally tell that the sound effect they used was just some guy going- <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was so fucking funny. Yeah, that, it's, it's, that, that, it's like YouTube, like like YouTube uh, kids level of like pooping sound yeah, effect. It's that, like it, it's so funny. It suddenly, it, it went from like the human centipede to like uh fucking pee pee poo poo. Yeah, it was so funny. <laughs> I really wanted them to put the reverb fart sound in that scene. <laughs> <laughs> to, yeah. Oh that, baby, that, shits that, myself. That, that is what made it bearable. And then the episode just like ends there. Yeah, it just ends. Yeah. Yeah. It just like, ends there. It's just the last line of this episode yeah, is, is just what a beautiful sound. It's just <laughs> him, like like this girl just like shitting out the eggs, and then him just going, What a beautiful sound. Like lights up a cigarette. Ooh, the, end exact, credits. the exact note I made for this was like, this man is appreciating fart sounds like he's listening to Mozart. <laughs> <laughs> just, How was the Japanese voice acting, Jerry? It's shit. Oh, okay, it wasn't good. It's I mean it's it's like it's as mid-tier as hentai voice acting can get. Mm. It yeah. wasn't very good. Uh, I mean, I, I, to be honest, I wasn't paying attention. There was too much on screen that was just distracting This me. was one of the most <sighs> insane fucking things I have seen in hentai. Apparently though, I've I've seen that there is a like redux version of Night Shift Nurses that has updated visuals. I think I saw it earlier. If you scroll hmm. down a little bit. I Wait, mean, is that the one that's coming out like literally like this week? Right there, the, the third one there. Ne next one, that one. <laughs> That's, th this is like a redux version with like updated art, apparently. Right. Yeah. 
Yaga yeah. Miyu. So I'd like, I think I've seen this one before. I think I've seen that one. But I'd never seen this original one. I yeah. mean, they're both terrible. I mean, so Night Shift matter. Nurses, I think is one of the most famous hentai really? series. I've never heard of this. It's like one of the most long running ones. Yeah, there's like, how many, cause I, I remember there's like at least like 10 episodes yeah, or something. Yeah, there's the a ton of series. In the well, entire- it's, it's, it's kind of like structured like a normal episode of a show. Yeah. like. There's just occasional like a, a pee pee showing or something <laughs> like, <laughs> like, or like occasional absolute depravity. Show. Yeah, but it's like, it's weird. Cause it's just like, it, it, it is like 30 minutes long and half yeah. of that is just talking. I think this is one of the most uh, infamous ones because yeah. I remember this came out, this got famous at the same time as like the Bible black era. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm not surprised that I, I had heard of night shift nurses, but I had never watched a single episode fully because it just seemed yeah, and weird. I highly regret it. Yeah, and honest. I wish I never did. Um, I don't know how many people this traumatized at the beginning. Does it get worse? I don't know. I really fucking hope not. I, don't, like, know. I don't know why we were told to watch episode four specifically. But, I think uh, maybe because it was like, because I mean, that egg scene is just, and the Nazis. Yeah, I mean, all of it's gross. So I, I just, I can't imagine it getting worse or perhaps it does. It's just, <laughs> it just, it's impressive. Just like the ideas and the depravity that they had of, who thinks about sticking an egg in a girl? I don't know. What, and, yeah. and it's just like, I'm going to make scrambled eggs. Who thinks about using natto as lube? Well, I also- That's fucked up. That's I, a waste I, of good nuts. I have no idea who is even remotely finding any of this attractive. Do you, do you I, think I'm it makes down confused. there smell better? No. Oh, oh, <laughs> just God. imagine the oh, smell. God. Just imagine God. the smell, man. Just imagine that's the smell. So gross. Bro, that's, that's all I could think a of. A natto taco. It's <laughs> a natto taco. <laughs> oh, She's definitely gotten some kind of infection. Oh, hundred percent. Or you know, good thing she's a uh, good thing she's in the hospital. Like how the the the, the synopsis of this, uh, if you scroll up, Kai, it, was, it would be like on a forbidden yeah. hospital ward, the head doctor performs madly erotic experiments, stripping the nursing staff of the uniforms, in inhibits inhibitions, and self control until even he is shocked by what he uncovers. <laughs> like what <laughs> what what does he uncover that shocks him? Because I saw him doing stuff that would have shocked any man, and he was barely he was barely moved. Oh my god. He barely reacted. Yeah. I mean, do you do you guys find nurses hot? That's that was the only thing I found hot in here, which was no. like the nurse character designs. They're, they're right. That was, that was pretty no, much I don't it. find them hot anymore. He ruined yeah. after, yeah. after all of the nurse oriented hentai I've seen that are just like Depraved. traumatizing. I, yeah. I don't know if I'm into nurses anymore. Like hospitals are already like an uncomfortable place. And yeah. then you add this and it's like, I don't ever want to go to the hospital. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm I'm glad we're having the modern day equivalent with the new like hospital hentai yeah. series that is getting released. Even though I only I only really like the first episode of that one. That, yeah, that one's fucked up. Uh, yeah, that one's I getting more fucked that. up. But I mean, this is the OG, I guess, of fucked up nurse hentai ones. Yeah, hospital hentai ones. I'm no sure more. there are some Please wholesome no ones somewhere. No more. I can't think of any off the top of my head because this has just taken over my mind. Uh, never watch night shift nurses in your life. I don't know why this has ten episodes. Ten. I can't, I can't believe this is the second most popular. Yeah, yeah. Well, there, what's, there what's wrong go. with you guys? There you go. Thank you very much, patrons. Shall right, we? Let's talk about on. something a little less traumatic, shall we? Okay. I mean, I say that, and the rest of the list is. <laughs> How many more do we have? Three more, I believe. Okay. We have, yeah, three. Yeah, three more. Should we do. Can we go to something vanilla, please? The, the, the last vanilla one. What's that one? There is no vanilla one. Is there a vanilla yeah. one? Yeah. Which uh, one? What the fuck is vanilla left? It's a Otokonoko delivery. That's vanilla? That's, that is that's, about as vanilla as it gets. That's vanilla? Is that not vanilla? Um, I wouldn't say this is vanilla. What, I, what, what is I, not, I, what I is, call it, I call that one uh, the modern day Bokono Pico. <laughs> Wait, when did this, this come is, out? Because there was like the only scene that I, I that made me fucking laugh out loud is that like, I guess the premise is that you can just order boys to, yeah. have, to sleep with you. Yeah. But they're, mean, like, they're like school boys. And I was like, Christ. Well, I think uh, I, th I think this one, you know, comparative comparative to some of the other ones we've seen, they still they I, I they look like they're having a good time. You know? <laughs> this is the only only country on earth where I felt like, oh god, uh, I I can probably leave this in my search history. But every other country, I think I'd have to I'd have to burn the PC and yeah, snap it yeah. off. This it was, was this was fucking weird. It was it was interesting that our patrons got us to watch this. Why one. the fuck I could did they want me to watch this? I could, I, could, I can I guess I can see why. Yeah, so, to troll. There was there was one scene there where like because the premise is that you can order 
you can order young boys to come and have yeah. sort of relations with you. Yeah. And then- But very feminine looking boys. Yeah, they were basically, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're basically, you know, they're basically so designed- So like this women. is a femboy hentai. Actually my first one, cause I'd never watched Boku no Pico. Oh, I'm jealous. Have, have you ever? Uh, no, yeah. I never watched it. I, I never I've, watched I've that. seen all of them. <laughs> I, I, I have uh, never watched that. And the premise of this is pretty much a more vanilla version of that ending scene in Requiem for a Dream. Uh, because <laughs> I was going to describe it very differently. Yeah, I would have described it I very mean, differently. But I get what you're saying. They 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 order some boys, and then there's this one scene where the boys are like they they get the massive dildo out. Yeah, and then I like the and then like I when when that when that happens, I couldn't stop thinking of that about that old guy in Requiem for a Dream that just kept shouting out ass to ass. <laughs> what the <laughs> what? fuck? Ass to ass, there, baby. There, there was a one moment where like this. Guy Guy gets sees the I guess the flyers just in the hotel room promoting yeah. the show. Yeah. And then yeah. like some guy on the PC, he gets the order and he smirks. He's like, oh yeah. And then I guess it cuts to them like going to the room. And then the guy's like, oh fuck, you're a boy. And then yeah. it cuts to a shot of him like grinning. He's like, oh it's yeah. Like, good, good. Oh yeah. And it's like, it just made me laugh the framing. Cause it was like the fucking like, it's like the generic anime shot where he puts up his glasses and smirks. And it just made me giggle. I was like, He's a boy, he's a femme boy. And then, yeah. and then when the second boy gets introduced, I guess. And that was weird. They yeah. like, there's this one scene where they just like dock each other. <laughs> Yeah, that they was, unironically that was dog. like, I was like, like, what the Whoa! fuck is this? I've never seen that clean of a docking scene in yeah. anything ever. Yeah, I was, I was, I was like, uh, whoa, all right. They're really fucking like gut die that shit. I yeah. was like, is this what like, uh, uh, a straight man thinks gay sex is? I, I, like, I, was, I, I, was, I, I was so confused. Yeah, I was like, I, what am I watching? I, I literally, when that scene came on, uh, I put a note down that says, that said, is this law accurate gay sex question mark? No. Cause, I, cause I'm like, is, is this what people think? No. Is this what people and think then, gay people do? Like, docking is like a meme. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then they share an honor hole, to, honor hole together as yeah. well. And I'm just like, what? What am I? Fine. What am I doing with my life? Oh, is that was that an owner home? I think so. Oh, I thought they just like I thought they had like a massive like Trojan condom or something, and they just stuck both their dicks what into is a it. Trojan condom, <laughs> the Magnum. Sorry, Magnum fucking. Yeah, the Magnum. The Magnum dong I mean, condom. I, 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 Really didn't re I honestly skipped through this one. because I was yeah. just like, yeah, I really same. don't want to watch this. I, movie. Yeah. I, I got the general premise. I got the general while. premise of this. Uh, I felt like this was just the bi curious test. Yeah. That's like uh, our patrons wanted us to go through. Uh, this is what puts you on a list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I'm, I'm Again, kinda, this I'm is this okay. is li this is literally the updated modernized. Yeah, I'm kind of yeah, yeah. kind of good just letting that meme die. Yeah, yeah. same, yeah. same. Uh, not a fan. I'm, yeah. I'm good with this. I, th one. I think the I think my favorite parts of this was probably just going through the comment section of this. <laughs> Uh, because there were, there were all the comments like, I like women, but my dick hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I, it, I guess it's weird. Cause it's like, it's so, it's so the only time- Damn, he's brave. I, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm totally like, okay, listen, if they want to show us, uh, you know, a uh, gay hentai or yaoi, but I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I don't really Why does fuck. it have to be fucking like 13 year old boys? Why? That's you, the thing. Why? Like I've seen my fair share of Yao and I've seen my fair share of like boys love stuff, but like, mm -hmm. you know, usually they're like at least in high school. Yeah, like you know, I, I mean, at it's, least. And and there's so oh, many were more they like not? I don't know. These ones? Oh, fuck. You think they look like fucking high schools, bro? <laughs> I don't fucking they look know, like, man. Like, either way, they shouldn't be doing what they be doing. Yeah. Right? Maybe. Uh, I mean, yeah. they were in school uniform at one point. I, I don't want to know. I, I don't want to know. I, I don't, I'd never want to look at this ever again. And nope. <laughs> I can't believe that we were made to watch this. Yeah, so thanks yep. patrons. All Assaults. right. The bastard patron that made us watch this. Yeah, have, have, a, have a fun time going through the comment section and just seeing how many like awakenings people have had. <laughs> to uh, pretty much, pretty much If this. you have an awakening to this, I, I, I'm worried about you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, shall we move on to- Second to last one. Yes. Which one? Armored Knight Iris. Oh, fuck. oh God, this one. All right, so we were asked to watch episode four of this for some reason. Was this a wild card? What was this? This was a, uh, I can't remember what this <sighs> one was. I this mean, had like uh, uh, the only equivalent, like the Legend of the Galactic Heroes level of lore. Yeah, and, and so like, it opens up with a minute or two minutes of, I guess, a recap. And the recap is so funny because it's just this like woman nonchalantly talking about like all the shit that Iris, I guess this main character has gone through. And it's just like, 
yes, and then, you know, after they had invaded the planet, Iris gets gangbanged. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. sure. Like, yeah, I guess, <laughs> Fucking hell, I guess all right. That, that would be the alien priority. You know, yeah. just, just a roadblock for Iris. <laughs> Um, and then it literally opens, this episode opens up with- it's Fucking jab I- the heart. Iris on, yeah, Iris on like a, a, a like a surgeon's table. And there's this jab of the hut looking <laughs> fucking so fat green it's monster so that just goes, all right, we're gonna get you to fuck a bunch of giants. Look at this fucking dude. We're gonna get you to fuck a giant. And in order for you to be able to do it, we've uh, surgically made your gash larger. And I'm just like, whoa, okay. I was like, where is this going? And then and then the giant walks in and like- Literal wh- giant. Why is yeah. it that the giant had the best like personality in any of out of any character here? He's just like a dude. He's just like, oh, all right, here I go. All right, here we go I guys. Just, like, when, the Ready? Giant, when the giant walks in, I was like, oh, this is a weird episode of Attack on Titan. <laughs> Literally a titan fucking a human. Yeah, it, it is. And the titan looks like a four-year-old drew him. <laughs> it looks like the most basic ass. That I, it looks really weird. And yeah. it's just like Kiki. Uh, it's episode four that we watched. Yeah, episode four. Uh, and it was just like okay. And then it cuts to another scene where they like repair her body after the giant. Yeah. And yeah. they're like, okay. I mean, the giant kind of like uses her, like she he, she basically turns into a human own hole, yeah. yeah. Which was weird. Um, uh, well, we re- really yeah. wasn't into that. Even though they like had the scientific reason that yeah. like yeah, we- scientific we, reason. This, this scientific reason where we are like, oh yes, we've widened your vagina to make sure you can get giant dick. I was like, <laughs> well, that, oh, how kind of you. Well, that does. Uh, it's like, just, wow, you really, you really made advancements <laughs> in some, some areas in civilization. <laughs> yeah. And then it cuts to this other scene where it's like, all right, she's stuck in this wall. And then the three classic. aliens pop in. Yeah, and then they're like, there are two aliens. <sighs> Whether they get heads or tails decides on which side they get. Yeah, And then uh, they just start going with it. And it's just these aliens. It's just like, I don't, I'm, the whole time I'm watching this, I'm like, who is this appealing to? All right. Oh, oh no, God! I, what do you? I, what do you? What? What? No. I I don't like the alien shit. The alien shit was like weird, yeah. but holy shit, I fucking love the stuck in a st- stuck in a war genre, man. What? That is that is. What do you like about that? That is peak, man. Why that is, is peak. peak. I hold what like is peak stuck, about stuck that? in war is so good, man. Okay, it is so good. Okay, I hear you. I but for me, stuck in wall is so like 50-50. Like what? I think what, sometimes literally, literally? No, li- literally. I think how I think, so? How so? Okay, this type of stuck in wall shit, where it's like shit. tentacles and like aliens and like non-human yeah, things yeah. being involved. Yeah, I'm not into. That's that's if the it's regular was... humans, I'm totally fine with it. Wait, why do you like what? hole in the wall? Huh? Why do you like the wall? This it's just it's well, like what what what, what 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 the fuck? It's like advanced bondage. You know, it's, it's just a wall. Just, Instead of rope, no, 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 you no, chuck no. them in drywall. Yeah, <laughs> so that so that they really can't move. It's it's okay, okay. It's it's a like, form of domination. It's yeah. It's like like I said. It's like advanced. It's like advanced bondage in a way where you have someone that is like tied up, but yeah. it's just and it's just like a variation of that, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I a, think I don't see enough of this in hentai. No, I see it. I, I, I see it a lot seen, in like I, dojins. I've seen enough to that. I've seen enough. I, I seen it in like dojins and shit like this. Yeah. But I was like, fuck the like the aliens. That's like, oh, that's like turning me off. But yeah. like the hole in the wall, shit. How come? How come I haven't seen God, many like, hentai? I have like the this. weirdest boner right now. <laughs> shit. Why are you gonna tempt me like that, man? All the aliens are so ugly, and all it's just it's so hard to watch this. Scene. Yeah. yeah. And and I then, just didn't enjoy it. And, so, and then like, that's this the funniest scene ever afterwards. <laughs> like I just, I was like, what? Um, I don't know how to explain. Basically this this blue head girl is the one orchestrating all of this for the jab of the hot character. Yeah, her name's Riruru. And she is in, as, as the intro tells us, pretending to be a split personality. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where she's the one inflicting all of this, this sex torture on this girl, but uh, but she's not, but she is. And and it's really weird and confusing. And then they, she finally breaks out at the blonde head girl, Iris yeah. confronts her and is like, I'm yeah. gonna stab you for doing this to me. Uh, and then she's like, yeah, I know you're gonna try and stop me. And she goes, no, I'm letting you go free. And, whoever, and yeah, and then, and then after that, yeah. even after all of the shit that Iris has gone through, just in this episode, she says to the the, the other girl verbatim, she said, "This could be the start of a great friendship." Yeah, yeah. I'm like the audacity. And then Iris, <laughs> Iris immediately flips and is like, "Run away with me." Yeah, Russ, yeah. run off into the sunset. <laughs> and right as they're about to do it, Jabba, Jabba the, the heart, 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 he
like a banana oh, peel. Yeah. And then banana she, and then she, the blue head girl immediately starts just getting horny. And then Iris is like, the fuck's going on here? And she, he, uh, the job goes, I know you can't resist my penis. <laughs> and it's just literally a banana. He's holding that a banana. And then and, and she's like, I can't, you're right. And starts stripping. And it's like, what the fuck is this? And he goes, I've genetically modified you where you can't stop coming if you see my penis. And it's like, what? <laughs> and so and then the blonde girl Iris just immediately does like a, the insane acrobatics like does the mid-air splits to stab him in the neck and he dies. Yeah. <laughs> and, that's, and then it ends. And that's the end of the episode. No, no, it was like, they, they actually had some mech models just like fly in. Oh yeah. <laughs> they, they, yeah. There was that whole side like story of like, I guess like yeah. Iris's like com comrades being like, we're gonna have to go save the Lieutenant. Yeah. And it's the most janky 3D mechs I've seen in <laughs> such a long time. <laughs> I'm like saving Private Ryan didn't, uh, this is looking odd. It is the hentai right equivalent now. of saving Private it's Ryan. It's literally yeah. like some apple, like apple seed level yeah. like like mechish I probably would have pre appreciated the story more if I had known the story more than what it the was. Story the story was fucking dog shit. Yeah. Because dog. the synopsis was like, and then the girl got captured and then she got gang banged. <laughs> <laughs> and then she escaped and got caught again and got gang banged yeah. again. It's like, and right. that was pretty much it. The, the scene that made me laugh actually oh, was God. actually during the stuck in a wall scene. Mm. Uh, where, where the, you know, you have the aliens up front, right? And they're like really excited. And then the fucking monster in the behind yeah. scene got like starts going ham and she starts going crazy. And then even the aliens like, nah, dog, this is, this is too much even for me. <laughs> and then they just eat out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you remember that? You're like, oh, damn no. girl, like, yo, you, you a bit too crazy even like, for my liking. Girl. This bitch is wild. <laughs> <in it. laughs> It feels like a lot of these hentais are like made by one dude who's super into this. And he just somehow convinced a studio that people also would be into this. It's like, you yeah. want to get paid, right? And then it sold well. And, and then they had enough money to keep making it. And you're like, yeah. you're, you're like, God damn. Men, when they want to get a very niche amount of porn are really willing to drop fast sex. <laughs> Cause no doubt these, these are probably going back for like, what, like $40 an episode back in the day or yeah. something. Like this is pretty expensive shit. Well, probably way more than that. Oh, I, I remember even like OG, DVDs, like anime DVDs, just normal anime DVDs. I went for like 70 bucks a pop. For one app? For one app. For one or two, two, apps. two episodes. Yeah. That's crazy. And I wouldn't be surprised if a single episode of Hentai was like over a hundred dollars. That's fucked. Before inflation, so. Um, and yet yeah. No Game No Life still doesn't have a season two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we get four episodes of this, yeah. at least. No, there's five episodes. I see episode five right there. Oh my I God. I think there's a bonus episode oh or something my God. like that. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I was disappointed because I, I was like hole in the wall, say no more. But then they had the aliens. I was like, oh, oh. oh, can I just get one singular hole in the wall hentai with just normal humans? Please, no demons, no aliens, no tentacles. Just, yeah, just normal just fucking the people. Humans, that's that's I, yeah. that that that's all. That's all I want. That's all I, I want to ask. I can't for. say I was a fan of the series. What do the reviews say on Mal? One of the most probably one of the most enjoyable hentai you'll ever watch. There's a decent storyline for a hentai series. And yes, Iris herself is perfect material for your death. <laughs> what the fuck are you on about? Oh my Lord. <laughs> I'd hoped it would, okay, go to scroll down. Someone doesn't recommend it. I'd hope it would be good. A setup uh, from the era game, mislead in prison maybe. Unfortunately, they decided to have far too many weird creature have sex with Iris, including a giant insect at one point <laughs> and not focus on- That was a giant her insect? Oh. her cute tormentor. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay, well. Well, I don't need to know about that. I did not need to watch it was those just other episodes. I just thought it was shit. I just didn't like any of it. I was like, I, can't, I couldn't wait for it to end. Yeah. I, was, I was like, I can see this is like some very niche things that it's doing right now. Uh, and the jab of the hook, I was so <laughs> ugly. The design was so ugly, so, so ugly. It was like Jabba the Hutt at home. It was like Jabba the Hutt if he had like, been doing poppers for 12 hours straight. Like it was fucking horrific. It was so, it was so awful. And I hope uh, to the non-patrons, I'm, I'm, I'm people watching this on YouTube, I'm sure we can just show you an image of what it looked like. Yeah. But it's like, look at this, look at this. I can't, I love this first review as well, how they split it up and Sup like, story. Superb artwork. No, I love the sound. Samus was never into any of the sex scenes. She was always yelling, no, we'll stop that. It's like sometimes in life, you just have to take the dick. <laughs> What? I love how the art, <laughs> superb artwork, the censored dicks are just a metaphor on how the government doesn't want <laughs> you to have fun. 
<laughs> 10 out of 10, I came. Yeah. I mean, I don't know why when they have like demons or aliens, <sighs> they're like, okay, ugly bastards. All right. Some people will try to relate to ugly bastards. Yeah. I, I can understand that. Why are you gonna make the aliens even more ugly and even more depraved yeah. than like some of the most depraved ugly bastards? I like, don't I, I don't like, I, I, I love how that they think that like aliens would come over to Earth and the first thing they want to do is fuck. <laughs> like I like I'm sure maybe that fucking is different. Yeah, you know, right? like yeah. That, you know, why would they want to fuck the way we want? To fuck? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, all right, last one. All right, let's move on to the last one. I hated this one. This too. last one was horrible. This uh, one. So this one is called "Stay Your Auto," which literally translates to "Wash the Dead Body." Right. Which uh, you can guess, you can guess. And this. the first three minutes are some of the most traumatic shit I've seen. Yeah, um, I would say this was a very, very impressive horror movie because I cannot look at it. That's that's how I like justified it in my mind because I was horrified. It's essentially Eraguro. Yeah, yeah. He there's some kind of like. I don't, I don't, cause I watched a little bit of episode one, but I, we were told to watch episode two. Cause I was so confused that I was like, I gotta watch a little bit of episode one. Yeah. But episode two opens up with like a girl, I, what opening her lunch. Yeah. She opens her lunch and it's a condom filled with like acid. Yeah. She's like, oh, you funny. That's such a funny prank. And then it explodes and she dies. She like, yeah. her, <laughs> I was like, like her entire I was like, body. What kind of YouTube prank is this? Her <laughs> entire face and body starts melting. I was like, yeah. what a classic prank, eh? What yeah. a classic prank where and you then, just die. And then it smash cuts to like this like surgery room with this other girl who I guess is dead. And yeah. this doctor is trying to like resurrect her. And he's like, <laughs> All right, let me just funnel the tits real quick. <laughs> oh my and, god! And then and then he's like and then he's like, all right, I, I think the only way I can bring it back to life is if I fuck her. And so he just starts fucking this, this girl who's dead. And in the middle of it, she just fucking wakes up and is like, what the hell's going on? And I'm like, I'm asking the same question. What the hell's yeah, going on with this show? That, like they don't make it clear. Or at least we watch. I watched episode two. They don't make it clear what is a hallucination and what is reality. Yeah, because um, he takes a bunch of drugs. Yeah, yeah. because in the he, first episode, he's like a oh geez, I don't know if I can do this, guys. Yeah. And by the end of it, he's like a psychotic maniac. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, who's like doing all sorts of depravities? Yeah, they they even did don't the, watch this. They even did the, the fucking Evangelion thing, where I swear to God, there was like flashes of real life shots, yeah. like just like splashed into there everywhere. And the this thing that fucked, man. And the thing that made this so fucking hard was the design of the director, the female director, was really hot. Yeah, she's hot. Actually, she's hot. Yeah, she, she was, was hot. really hot. But she had like the most normal scenes, I think, generally speaking. Yeah, but like the but fact- But they were still kind of gross. The fact that her scenes was like interspersed with the scenes of what this other guy was yeah, doing yeah. as well, which I don't really want to like say because there's like, there's like some depraved shit. And then there's like some things that I just don't feel comfortable yeah, describing. Yeah, I don't even I'm saying them. Yeah. I just don't feel comfortable describing the shit. Like, this is like to the point where I'm like, like I, we even we were mentioned before. I'm like, who is this made for? Yeah, this is genuinely like one where I'm like, okay, this is like I don't even understand. Like I, I can't even understand the process. Oh yeah, of and then there's that this. other girl who is like watching all of this on like the CCTV. Yeah. yeah, and is like playing with herself with like a test tube full of like chemicals, and I'm just like, oh, that's safe. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that one caused a horrible accident. Oh, I, I need to, I need a dildo. Oh, what yeah. do we have? Oh, an, an anthrax. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, it'll do. It'll do. <laughs> oh, there's no way this. Could you're wrong. <laughs> this is this is how like uh, was was that zombie film started? I swear to God, like ninety days later or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my and god. And like it was also just kind of like uh, I mean the whole room. Uh, like the pool room that was like filled with like the chemical, which yeah. is really disturbing. It was yeah. disturbing. And like really uncomfortable. Like I just can't, there was no point of this thing that I even remotely liked. And I don't understand why people just, would ever jack off to every this. Every scene was just horrific. Um, yeah. I think if you jack off to this, um, you should become a Get monk. Help. A monk and never jack off ever again. You, yeah. you have you have gone too far off the deep end. Yeah, this this genuinely feels like a show where if you can get off to this, I feel like you're too far in. You yeah, know, you've, I, you've I, I was too hard. I, I, we've gooned gooned too hard. You have gooned too hard. <laughs> we have gooned where no man should ever gooned before. Like, hey, if you want to goon a little bit, you got a yeah. little bit of a little crazy taste every now and then. I, yeah, you know that's that's your own. You can do that. But in I feel moderation, like, yeah. I feel like if you're gooning this hard. 
to yeah. this kind of stuff. You're too, way too far gone. Yeah. You've, yeah. Got to, you've got to come back to reality and stop far doing gone. it. At the end, I was watching this and I was just like, I, I maybe I can see, maybe if I look at this as like some piece of art, there is some artistic merit to how fucking uncomfortable. I mean, I was watching this more as like a horror anime. Yeah, yeah no, same here. Yeah. At the end, I think that's how I justified it to myself yeah. because I was like, I do not feel comfortable watching this at all. Yeah. But if I view it as like a horrific piece of art, yeah. that's, uh, that makes it I, a little bit better I, in I my mind. I wish I could understand. Like I wish I could even begin to understand how one could like get enjoyment or gratification out of such like depravity. Yeah. To me, it's so disgusting in yeah. like every capacity. Yeah. You said with the nurse one, really. Yeah. It's like how how can you even begin to think about being aroused by this? I can't fathom it. It's so gross. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, needless to say, I don't ever want to watch anything like this ever again. No. In my life. No. no. If we do this list, I hope we have more of the Imaizumi. Yeah. Uh, shit, give us yeah. some more Imaizumi. You, you, you guys, guys are started off What's so wrong good. With you, guys? you guys started off so good. I'm gonna man. go home and cleanse myself with the remaining three episodes of Imaizumi. Yeah. It's gonna be a great end of the day. <laughs> You know what? Oh, uh, yeah, I, I actually, after watching all this, I miss I miss when we were talking about the NTR one. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Yeah. Bring me back the ugly bastards. I'll yeah. take yeah. it. Honestly, honestly, bring, bring, honestly bring us, at least us, I can laugh. Yeah. I, can have, back, I yeah. can have joy. <laughs> at least I can, at least I could come out with a smile. This yeah. is just sad. Yeah, yeah. Sad, horrifying. And uh, that was it <laughs> for your hentai recommendations. Oh, I'm so tired after that. I would like to say thank you patrons, but I'd more like to say fuck you for like most of you, even though you started off strong uh, and then you gave us some depraved yep. shit yeah. uh, that uh, we wanted to watch, that if, we didn't want to watch. And if you want to watch us review some other hentais, your three by three hentai taste, we did that over on Patreon, recorded the whole episode that's ready for you. So if you want more for us talking about hentai, not much depravity, luckily. Yeah. Mm. Um, you can go do that right now on patreon.com. I well. call it the tissue soaker list. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. That Hajime no Hitsuma. The girl is beautiful and honestly her voice actress makes it even hotter. It's a really good animation as well. It's a shame because the guy, the the guy, I don't know why they always give them the grossest like oil sounding voice. He's like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> She like literally fucks on top of her husband sleeping with the, uh, it's like, it's, what? it's ridiculous. How? I don't know, I don't know. If you want some uncensored goodness from what we just filmed, you can also head over to the Patreon. Oh yeah. Uh, we also have a segment where we, I guess, watch some of the hentai. Yeah, we watched like a whole episode. So, so go uh, check that out yeah, go check at, at patreon.com slash trash taste. Yeah. But uh, hey, look at all these patrons though. Someone in here was the one who recommended this shit. Yeah, someone, someone in here. Someone in here. I don't know which one of Awful, you it yeah. is, Awful. but fuck you Awful. for doing that. Yeah. But, hey, if you'd like to support the show and uh, maybe participate in future episodes like this one and many more, then head on over to our Patreon on patreon.com slash trash taste. Also follow us on Twitter, send us some memes on the subreddit. And if you hate our face, listen to us on Spotify. And yeah, thank you very much for tuning in this week. We'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Bye.